Hey YouTube, uh, you're probably gonna thank me for not clicking record for the last two minutes because we just spent the last two minutes listening to the Awu sub alert, which most of you guys hit. Uh, we're back with Tileman. I kind of forgot what day it is, uh, but we're doing a lot of the story. Uh, we're gonna continue Brotherhood of Steel. That's what we're doing today. Uh, hey, Group how? I'll do you. There you go. I'll turn it down. See, I've turned it down, and then that's it. No, no issues, right? Should we do some farming at the start of the day? So we can do some talking, or should we do... Main story quests? Go straight to it. Give holotip to Dr. P oh, I need to do a bit of farming. I don't have any tiles. I have 15. Alright. Chat, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go do some farming. Okay, you guys can't stop me. I'm a farming boy. Inside and out, okay? <sighs> yes, more Awu. I don't think most- I think most people in my chat aren't-, aren't Weebs anymore, right? Like, can, can, we, can we can we establish that? Post a one in chat if you watch anime on a daily routine. Post two in the chat if you're normal. I'm pretty sure now that my cha channel has gotten more mainstream. Okay, there's a lot of ones. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Okay, 1.5 makes sense. Alright, so most of you guys are twos, right? So if I was to put on a song that would, you know, reflect... Uh, this chat poorly, you guys would not like it, right? So if I, like, I would lose viewers if I played, I don't know, uh, this song? You? Right? This would, this would make you click off the stream. This is disgusting. Okay, I'm not actually gonna play that. <laughs> I, I'm not. I would. I would never do that to you guys. Okay. I would. Why would I ever play a song like that to you? I would never do that willingly to my audience. Okay. You guys need to chill. God. Anyways. Hope oh, everyone's having a good Monday. <laughs> Uh, you went- you lost 40 viewers. Oh, no. I lost 40 viewers. Good. You know what? Good. Here's what I say to that. Leave. Don't come back. In fact, I never wanted you here in the first place. In fact, I hope 40 more of you guys leave. Okay, now that you- can you guys clip that out of context? Put it on Twitter, and then, like, start some- put it on LSF. That's how we grow, okay? I'm launching Operation Growth Part 2. Attack the subreddits. I'm kidding. Start the Twitch longer, dude. I, I it's crazy to me that that's actually how people grow on Twitch. I mean, actually, that's not crazy to me. Have you seen half the Twitch? Yeah, never mind. Actually. By the way, hi chat. There's a lot of new talkers, new chatters in chat today. Um, just want to let you guys know. Um. There was a time where Twitch Jabbo and YouTube Jabbo, whatever the fuck people put it as, was like two different things. Uh. Over, like, the last five months, uh, it's- my split personality disorder has turned into just personality. Uh, which means... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't- is there a difference between my YouTube and Twitch? Because, like, it used to be. It used to be. Like, way back, when I did, like, um... When I did, a uh, video essay stuff, people would be, come in and be like, What the fuck, dude? You're so weird. <laughs> I- I'm watching YouTube videos, and you'd be, like, all serious and cool and- I have a message. For Jabo, yep. Please, All right? What is stop it? Stop speed running Fallout New Vegas. Mm. Just stop. Right. Hey, Jabo, <clears throat> what is your favorite cheese? Yeah. What? That's actually good. To okay. What's my favorite cheese? First of all, I'll get that out of the way because I can't be disrespectful towards the person who just subscribed. Demon Goose, thank you so much for contributing. Towards- wait, I, I also, Mystic Sage, thank you for the five community. I, I missed you as well. But Demon Goose, sorry so much. Uh, thank you for the seven months. My favorite cheese is, uh, cheddar. Um, but yeah, I've noticed that we don't use the green screen. You know? You ever, you ever noticed that? I don't use the fucking green screen. Interesting. But. Uh, well. I'm not gonna use the green screen, because I can't be asked getting it out, but, you know. It is what it is, chat. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys can see me setting it up. One sec, I want to see if this works. Give me a second. I want to see if this works if I do it. It. What's the fucking thing? Uh. 
so heavy. Okay, it doesn't work. Right. This green screen does not work at all. It is broken. Uh, I could probably fix it. Give me a second. Why is it so bad? Let me select a screen color. <laughs> Help! I think... I, oh, dude, I, I look like an early 2000s. I look like Spy Kids 3D. You know? When... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Oh my god, I kind of do. I look like Spy Kids 3D. Like, you know, you know like that early, like, 2000s really shit CG 3D effect? What the fuck has happened to my face? What the fuck? You can't fake this shit, dude. What the fuck? Haha, ha, Jibidit can't get his green screen working. Dude, I- Why is it only my f- My hat! I don't- Oh, I don't- Chat, I don't feel so good. Oh, so fucking dumb. <laughs> Alright, clearly I have the similarity too high. That's a very simple fix. You guys like this? Wow, what a professional streamer, dude, with a professional green screen that he's not done proper lighting for and probably won't because, you know, I think we should just go back to normal from being honest with you, but... Let's, let's actually try and make people believe we've changed our setup. Also, you can see my fan! Give me a big boy! Look at him! He's so beautiful! What a good little guy. Look at him. He's not green screened out because he's real. Yeah, you see, the, the thing about green screens is they don't work by color. Uh, they, they The way the green screen, screens work is they get rid of anything that's fake. <sighs> so, you can tell I'm real, right? Jabba, can I request the rat song for my birthday? Yes. But I'm gonna just give you the, the, the normal one because I don't know if it's anyone else's birthday in chat. So if it's your birthday soon, just pretend this is for you. What's up, Halo fan? Michael, it's your birthday today. It's your birthday on the 30th? That's too far away, this isn't for you. Don't pretend this is for you. The, the, you're not allowed to cheat, dude. Get your own birthday song. Oh yeah, I can eat bodies. Yeah, but I forgot my birthday is tomorrow. Okay, give me a second. Just because you forgot it was your birthday. Alright, I'm, I'm fucking sick of it. Go away. Happy birthday on uh, tomorrow, Vespa. Uh, my birthday is in April. Is it too soon to ask? Uh, here's what I'm gonna do for you, Marvels. I'm gonna actually go into my calendar right now. Right. I've just started this Calypso. It is fucking minging. Thank you, Zaffid, for the 21 months, man. It is fucking minging. Suck your Okay, dad. I was gonna make a joke about how the I was gonna put your minging. birthday down for the 1st of April, and then April oh. Fools... Whatever. Thank you guys so much for the subs. Baron, thank you for the 10 months. And Zaffid, thank you for the 21 months, too. That kid's voice is so unreal. I don't think it's real. I think it's a guy pretending to be a kid. I don't know, controversial, but... In water, oh, I love that similar, dude. <laughs> 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 
That new sublet with the chips will drown? It's amazing. What if I green screened? What if I put a green t-shirt on? Two seconds. Doesn't work! Fuck! I thought it would work, dude! It doesn't work! It's too dark! I can fix this. How? Okay, have one for that. Don't worry about it, Chad. Don't worry about it. I got it. And add another color key. Custom color, select color, pick screen color. <laughs> this is tragic, dude. I don't even look real anymore. <laughs> Hello, guys, and welcome. <laughs> Help! Chad, I don't- f I feel like I'm part of- I feel- I, I don't feel a whole. What happened to my hair? I'm wearing, uh, Jacksepticeye's old YouTube hat. Remember- Did, did anyone used to watch, watch Jacksepticeye back in the day? When he used to wear, like, that little, um... Like, the little flat cap thing, whatever it was. What, what like, the... Yo, ye old UK. Oh, I'm gonna go s chimney sweep- What are they called? Yeah, I used to watch him back then. The paddy cap! Yeah! Dude, this is freaky, man. I'm gonna turn it off. I don't like it. I'm, take, I'm putting it away. I'm putting, I'm putting it away. Okay. Yeah, listen to the music. Have fun. <sighs> All right. Back to it, boys. So, we are doing some farming today. Okay, we, we did a bit of messing around. No more messing around, please. It's a very serious stream. Can you guys please behave? Um, we're tiling today. We're going to do a bit of farming and then hopefully rush as much of the story as we can. I think we might be able to get it finished today. Oh my god, he's scary. I don't know. We'll see. I don't, I don't know. Probably not. Um, I'm trying to think there's anything else to talk, for, talk about. Which ending are we going for? Uh, Brotherhood of Steel. Which, uh, we were originally going to go for the railroad. But apparently, if you go to the Institute, that makes you a bad person. Even though going to the Institute to do some investigative journalism makes sense. Can I go to the Institute and kill Dad? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm locked out of the railroad ending if I don't side with the railroad to get decoded, right? The cause of chip. Yeah. I have a green screen because my background is either a white wall or shows you where I live. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, actually, about, um... When I when I move into my next place with my, with my girlfriend, I was thinking about potentially getting one of the walls, like, painted green. But I don't think uh, I'd be allowed to, unfortunately. Imagine how easy it would be to gre do green screen work if all you had to do was point your camera at, like, the wall. <laughs> It'd be so easy. Just bribe them? Well, I could just repaint it and they just don't know. I mean, what are they gonna do? Freak out because I painted the wall bright neon green? What the fuck? Who cares, man? <laughs> ah, it's just a bit of paint. It'll come off. Yeah, the green screen is no longer here. Paint them light blue should work as well, no? 
No, you, you, it's gotta be a very, it's gotta be a very strong bold color that's easy to um, uh, key out. That's not correlated to like natural colors. If that makes sense. Green and dark blue works. Yeah, blue screens work, but they're they're, they're like not light blue. They're like not a royal blue either. They're like a very middle ground between baby and royal blue. I don't know how to word it. Weird. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still messing around with my settings. I have a lot of daylight coming in. Same energy drink? Yeah, I'm drinking one of these bad boys. Also, my subscriber count is not updating again. Thank fucking god for that. Honestly, why is everything breaking? Is it because I'm not streaming as much? Is is this my fault? I can smell it from all the way yes. Over here. Yes. Is it is it breaking because I'm not we streaming as much? Know. I feel like that might be the case. Why the fuck do I have this? Loving the tile videos so far. Thank you so much, Bano. Last one's doing not that well. Uh, the one that we 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 released a week ago. But we also experimented with it by making the video a bit shorter than usual, so we think- I think that's the problem. Every time someone subs, someone else unsubs? Uh, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, let's go boys. It's party time. It's fucking party time. Honestly, heavy weapons are like one of the most fun weapons in Fallout. But like... I feel like no one ever does a heavy weapons playthrough. I don't know, has anyone in chat ever done a heavy weapons playthrough? I've never done one. And the reason why I never do one is because... I always feel like heavy weapons consume way too much ammo, right? So you just be have to- you'd have to constantly find ammo. Why would I want to do that? In 76, I mean, it's different in 76 because there's a very, there's easy way to, ways to farm and make ammo in 76, right? So there's ways around it. Maybe, maybe there isn't Fallout 4. I mean, there is, but they're not that. Let him cook. Let him cook, boys! Uh, I also did um, some theory crafting. So I'm going to let you guys in on a bit of information about, like, my journey with Starfield. Because I, I think it's important to understand what I'm doing. Um, I'm not playing the game substantially. I'm not doing late game stuff. I'm specifically only doing the first, like, ten levels of the game. And then re making a new playthrough. That's what I'm doing. I'm not getting far into the game. I'm just learning the mechanics. And I've been writing down shit that I need to write down. Uh... I, yeah, there are other YouTubers that I know of who have like 80, 80 hours played who are clearly making videos, which they're allowed to do. I am not making any videos. The only thing I'm going to do about, with Starfield is I'm going to release a review on my second channel uh, for the 1st of September. And at the same time as that review goes live, I'll be doing my first playthrough. So if you want to just come to my fucking channel and ask me, you can. Um, Why is the word Roblox banned? Because we went through a phase of people asking me to play Roblox and it got really fucking annoying. <laughs> Uh, also, we can't go to College Square anymore. It's contaminated. We actually can't go there. Uh, for some reason, College Square's tiles have just disappeared. Uh, this- this challenge is falling apart, by the way. Um, but yeah, I'm not making any main channel videos. I was thinking about doing, like, a top 10 tips for the, for a first playthrough. Kind of like what Vaddy does. You know, Vaddy Vidya, the guy who just, like, Dark Souls videos. He always releases, like, a top 10 tips for, uh, playthrough. I could do that because there's a lot of tips I could give. But I just don't feel like it's my type of content. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just being stupid. Does it play much different than Skyrim and Fallout? I can't comment on that, dude. I'm sorry. I wish I could. I, j I can't tell you guys anything about the game. I can only tell you guys... Yeah. Vaddy's cringe? What?! I like Vaddy. I think he's cool. I think he makes good content. That is the reason why I give a shit about Dark Souls law. Decided I will no longer be paying taxes. Thank you. What are they gonna do? Tax me more? Yes. 
Don't, don't do this whole like blink twice shit. Okay, stop. Shit weapon. I mean shit, shit legendary. Oh, look at this. New vid uh, Vaddy did is awesome. I haven't watched any of his new content. I, I, it's very weird. I stopped We've giving a shit. A I don't know how this works. Shut up, bitch. No more taxes. But I stopped giving a shit. We just got a about, um... Like, Dark Souls from soft stuff when Elden Ring came out. I don't know if anyone else felt that way, but like... When Elden Ring came out, I was like, oh, this is it. This is the game that I've wanted. That's it. Now I really don't care. Until, like, they bring out another one. <laughs> and the Elden Ring lore wasn't as good as, like, Dark Souls lore. Yeah, it was- it was kind of like... If- it just felt like there was something off about it. I don't know. It was just- I, I wasn't- I re I think Elden Ring is one of the best games from software has ever made. But there was just something about, like, the lore and everything. I was just like, mm. Then again, to be fair, I kind of ruined my playthrough of Elden Ring. <laughs> Cause I, do you guys know the, the, was it the sun and moon sword that you get that has like the magic, the, the like the weapon art where you just shoot a beam in front of you. Um, and I'm pretty sure like speedrunners used it, right? Well, I, I was, I didn't watch a single speedrun when the game came out and I ended up just using that weapon the entire playthrough. Um, didn't really know it was broken. Uh, I just thought the game was easy <laughs> until I got to the was it Melania and I I killed her on the second try and then I kind of was like you know what I think this game has been a bit too easy um yeah it got a massive nerf yeah well I completed the game within like the first week so um fuck me apparently uh, I actually haven't heard much about Phantom Liberty DLC for Cyberpunk. Um, people have said it's good, but I don't know if it actually is. I haven't really done much of it. Panda Red, thanks for the six months. And Barney, thank you for the four months too. And Chaz, thank you for the ten. Still no Starfield? Yeah, I can't... Yeah, I, I can't stream Starfield until the NDA is lifted on the 1st of September. I technically could stream it on, at 1am on the 1st of September. But here's what we're going to do. I'm going to wake up at a normal time. I'm going to go live. I'm going to play the game, and I'm going to wake up the next day, go live, play the game, and that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to do stream a gremlin goblin activity and stream 50 hours in a row, because at the end of the day, I want to uh, enjoy the game and not force myself to play it. Does that make sense? Because there's a lot of people like, oh, you're going to do a 24-hour stream when the game comes out, bro? I'm pretty sure there's, there's people that are going to do 24-hour streams when the game comes out. Like, there are going to be people that will do that. Uh, I would love to, but I also understand that I'm not 20 years old anymore. And also, I have to prioritize the production of YouTube content over Twitch. <sighs> so you're playing AC6 on Friday. How did you find it? I'm loving it so far. I'm on my third playthrough. Oh, you mean Armored Core? Yeah, dude. I had a fun time playing that game. Uh, I have a clip here somewhere. Uh, I have a clip here somewhere. Let me find it. Uh, I have a clip here somewhere. Let me find it. Uh, I have a clip here somewhere. Let me find it. I have a clip here somewhere. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find it. I have a clip here somewhere. I can't find it anywhere. I have a clip here somewhere. I can't find it anywhere. I have a clip here somewhere. Stop feeling foolish. Why does that sound like a NASA launch? This sounds like the dude. This sounds like oh, he's like oh, he's taking off. Uh, this is the new game for the software. It's called Alan Cross 6. Honestly, I really, it's really good. Yeah, Alan Cross didn't work on my PC. There was something wrong with it. <clears throat> Have you tried an actual Fallout game, such as Fallout Shelter or 76? Uh, I can guarantee I have spent more money on Fallout Shelter than you have. <laughs> because I spent $100 on it for a joke one stream. Uh, I have played a lot of Shelter. I think Shelter's good. Uh, I don't like 76. I'm in social studies right now and I forgot my headphones. 
Um, is that like the study of Twitter and stuff like that? Why do you have to go to school for that? Just load up the website. Duh. <laughs> I think shelter's fun, but the problem with shelter is it becomes very obvious that you're playing a mobile game after a certain amount of time, right? The best mobile games are the mobile games where you don't recognize that you're playing a mobile game. And Shelter is one of those until you reach a certain point and then it becomes obvious you're playing a, a mobile game. Like, the best mobile game you can buy is something like Brotato or uh, Balloon's Tower Defense because they don't really feel like mobile games. Thank you, Max. <laughs> Reminds me of Tiny Tower. Oh yeah, I used to play a game called Tiny Tower. Oh shit, yeah, that was the... Wait, Tiny Tower was the original app that was kind of like Fallout Shelter, but less in depth. Oh my god! You had to make money! Holy shit, I remember that! That was really old, like... iOS, right? That was like, way back. What was that? That was the Pixel Tower with the hotel and stuff? Yeah, and then there was, uh... Habo Hotel. I used to play a lot of that, actually. You know, I don't tell my parents this, but I used to, um, I used to steal money from my parents to play Habo Hotel. I used to <laughs> phone up the, the Habo Hotel hotline and then get, like, money disposed into my account. I'd do it, like, once every couple of weeks. It was, it was only, it was, like, free quid every couple of weeks, right? Um, and then I would gamble the money. Yeah, there was a thing on Habo Hotel. If you didn't know, there was gambling. And I'd go into the gambling rooms, lose a little bit, win a little bit more, and then lose it all. Every time. And then I watched a YouTube video on it. Yeah, I, I, that's right. I watched a YouTube video. Guess what? It was all fake. They literally control controlled the outcome of the game. I worked at a casino in Habbo. All right, Kev, let us in. Let us down on the. Uh, let us let us in on the info, bro. Was it rigged? Average casino owner W. <sighs> Dude, the thing is, that's the thing about casinos, right? If any motherfucker can prop up a casino and become a millionaire in the space of like a couple of months, you have to be, con that, that confirms that you have no chance of winning, right? No, some were rigged, mine was legit, but there was more chance to lose. Yeah, this guy, this guy is legit, guys. What happens if you step off the dial? I gift a sub to chat. Chat! You you guys want to hear what I've been watching lately. Oh, my nose looks huge because of the light from outside. <laughs> Look at that! The nose gremlin. Yeah, the sunlight from outside is like beaming in. Um... I've been watching Blade. You know the Blade films? I watched all three of the Blade films. That's the first two are really good. And I've been watching House. The first two Blade films are fucking sick. But they're like, they have like such a bad budget though. That's the only problem of them is that they don't have the budget like that the Matrix had, right? And then the third one was, the third one was bad. Why is Ryan Reynolds, why is fucking Ryan Reynolds in the third Blade film? Anyways, uh, I like House, but my problem with House so far is that every fucking episode is the same, right? Someone comes in, Sir, my patient has got a blood clot in her right arm. She's, we're just, we're gonna let her out right now. Let me check. And then he does the thing where he hobbles over, right? And then he gets there and he takes one look at her and goes, Mm-hmm, syphilis. And then they, they get her on like a drip, right? And then she's dying because she's allergic to the drip. <gasps> oh my god, she survived! Turns out she just had a fucking... I don't know... What's it called? A splinter in a, a left leg? <laughs> oh shit, if only we knew! That's literally every episode of House. Literally every episode. Minor problem, major confusion, minor solution. Every episode, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh, like, he'll be like, yeah, it turns out you have a parasite. She's like, oh my god, what do you mean a parasite? And, like, she's pregnant. It's like, oh, okay, okay, yeah. Alright, okay, okay. Same thing with suits. 
Well, I was thinking, what if you did, like, an alternative to it, right? What if you did, like, an alternative to House? Where it's just, like, some you follow somebody who's, like, a PR manager for companies, and then, like, companies come to him wanting PR problems solved, and then he, like, he's, like, a psychopath that knows how people will react to it, right? <laughs> like, oh, we should apologize. And he's like, no, you shouldn't apologize. But, like, you could have a house like that Nah, the more, the more I speak about it out loud, the more I realize it's a shit idea. Never mind. Uh, we, we're siding with the Brotherhood of Steel, right? Yeah, we are. How am I feeling today? Uh, a bit better. A bit warm. It's still quite humid. I really, uh, really want the humidity to go away, but... We're not siding with the railroad chat. They don't like us anymore. Blood thinks he's Hitman. What? What, because I'm good at the game? What, are you jealous because I'm good at the game? Watch this. Want to see how good I am at the game? Watch this, dude. I can show you guys how sick I am at video games. <laughs> Is it this one? Yeah, watch this. You're about to witness the most sick gameplay ever. Okay, one out of three is good. <laughs> also, I'm on the tile. One out of three is good, right? <laughs> that was good aim. I feel like, yeah, that was pretty good. What the fuck is daily taxes? All right, I'm... This is why, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna let you guys know. This is why we can't have fun things. I'm removing it. Say goodbye to daily taxes. For too long, I have had to listen to you guys ask me constantly every fucking day what the whole point of daily taxes is. Just like cute mode and angry mode and all the other things we've had, all the other point redemptions we've had. You know the point redemptions that you guys beg me for? Oh, Jabbo, please, please. My wife is gonna leave me. So I had I had the point redemption. And then then what do you guys do? Ooh, what's this? What is? Maybe I should just stop banning people that ask questions. If you put a question mark at the end of your message, <laughs> you're gone. That's the wrong music, bro. There we go. Remember the OG boom? Yeah, I remember it. Please, my wife is going to leave me. I hope she does. The Rex is just gonna time down. No. Braxia, come back! Also, hi, Archdog. Casual, thank you for the raid, man. Hope you're doing well. And Meat Lord, thank you for the 12, the one year. Dizzy, thank you for the 32. Why do you hate question marks? I hate being interrogated by uh, my Twitch chat because I know the average person in my Twitch chat is super intelligent, very smart, and sexy. And that intimidates me. Right? You know, I'm just intimidated by strong people. <laughs> you guys are all strong, right? Are you sure? Alright. You know what? I've added a few guys. That's it. No more tiles. I'm not placing down another tile today. We're just gonna do some farming the entire day. You worked out before? Dude, I literally did a workout last week and got a heat stroke from it. <laughs> How? How is that possible, man? I was like, oh, I'll do a workout. I'll do a standard, you know, what I normally do. Nothing different. Literal heart attack. He should have had me on the episode of House. Remember? Like, episode of House? He's like, oh, dude, this guy's dying from a heart attack. Yeah, heat stroke. But they inject me with a bunch of shit. <laughs> we are quite strong, actually. Yo, my hairy nuts. Thank you for the tier one. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Launch farming simulator. You guys know I um I downloaded. Oh, <gasps> I have a video to show you guys. I have, dude. I was okay. I was kind of high like two weeks ago. I'm not even kidding. This was two weeks ago, and I was browsing Twitter and I came across this. All right, are you ready for this? This is the worst tweet I've ever seen. I've ever seen. And I, I genuinely. For one more month, and I don't know why. 
someone can help me. Hey Gabriel, thank you for 20. Um, I, I genuinely thought that this video wasn't real. So I bookmarked it as sure chat. <laughs> you see this? Um, this is somebody using AI to game dev. Right? And they made a full HD remake of fucking Super Mario. You guys ready for this? This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Imagine being high out of your mind, and you, you see this on your Twitter feed. Wait, there's more! There's more! <laughs> what?! What would you guys do if it just cut to the Starfield logo right now? <laughs> Todd Howard gets on stage. That's some exclusive five minute introduction to Starfield. Anyways, um, that is literally all I stopped the entire stream for. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, sorry. Todd Howard, you dirty bastard, you did it again. <laughs> oh my god. Can Todd Howard fix my aim, please? I'm sure you can do that. But will I have NFTs? Dude, I can guarantee you anybody that's into AI type of like, you know, you know, you know it's funny how like those type of people just split personalities and like switch over like every second, right? Oh, it was Bitcoin. Now it's NFTs. And then, it, and then it's AI, right? What's it gonna be next? You know? What's the next? Emerging technology that everyone's gonna. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> aim speculators? <laughs> Dude, my aim is good. Show. Sure. Look at this. I'm like a robot. I'm tuned in. Where are you? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Quantum computing? Yeah, but that's not gonna happen for fucking years. I mean, let's be honest, even the AI shit, right? People are getting overhyped over an AI that's able to, like, write you a book. But if you feed an AI, like, thousands of books, it's gonna be able to write a book. I don't know why we're so fucking, like, by that. To me, the stuff that blows my mind is, like, the AI, the image, image stuff, right? Like, the image AI stuff, that blows my mind. Because you have to take in, like... Because it's all, it's none of it is like, maybe it is machine learning, but I feel like most of it is just like neurologic links type stuff where it just goes, okay, uh, this is what humans do, so we should copy it. And if that's the case, which is, you know, I'm not, I'm not an AI expert, but I think that's the case, then couldn't we just like make that worse? Couldn't someone do like corporate sabotage and ruin like a company's AI? Wouldn't that be possible? Yeah, how the fuck have I missed this behemoth like six times? Please, bro. Yeah, I think voice AI is also cool as fuck too. But um, I also worry about that. Yeah, imagine if someone like sneaks in, break. Imagine, oh my god, dude, someone should do like an Ocean's Eleven type film, right? You get the team together, you know, type shit. But instead, when they get to the the, the mainframe, he just he just plugs in the SpongeBob AI, you know, <laughs> you know the the SpongeBob Patrick AI thing that they have on Twitch. It's like ah yeah, let's see how good your AI is after this. It's just like fuck it. You would fuck it so much. You would ruin that entire AI mainframe thing just by putting in something like that maybe that's like the next level of like espionage between companies and stuff you know move over espionage like you know soviet films next we're gonna have like oh yes sir it appears that our ai has been breached somebody has uploaded 
126 gigabytes of hentai to the AI machine, and now all the AI image learning robots are just posting hentai around the place. Sir, what do we do? This AI robot's being used in schools! We fucked it! Anyways, uh, weren't we supposed to be doing like a tile man? <laughs> uh. ED did that in Mass Effect? Could you zip bomb an AI? <laughs> I don't even know what zip bombing means. It just <laughs> I just imagined that was like the new terrorist instead of like. <laughs> no, never mind. Haha, <laughs> 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 yes. It is I. I've came to just destroy this country's infrastructure by zip bombing the UK's AI system. Surely we'll never get that reliant on it, right? I hope not. Dude, look at this guy. This guy's full-on stepsister stuck in the, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> look at this. Hey, bro. There you go. I helped him out. Zip bomb is a file that compressed into a zipped file that once unpacked has, like, TBs of data inside of it. Oh, right. That's quite smart. And it uses, it probably uses some, like, really funky compression. Oh, exploit or some shit, right? Oh well. <laughs> I mean, zip files are a good way of getting around the limitations, right? What if you zip filed everything? Ah, uh, Baby Shirt Bandit, thank you for the two, the two months. And Skyrune, thank you for the 10 as well. And Zilla Killer, thank you for the 15. But yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. It is Monday today. Uh, trying to think if there's anything to mention to you guys. Anything happened? I mean, there was like the Streamy Awards, but I didn't watch that because I definitely wasn't gonna win shit <laughs> at the Streamy Awards. Um, neither is anybody that I know, so. Dream one? No shot, dude. Is, how is, is Dream winning stuff still? I thought, I thought Dream was like an afterthought now. Wasn't there a video of Dream and like Young Gravy and Amaranth? All lying in bed together. Didn't I see- I, I swear, either I'm like out of my mind, or like... Wait, this video came out. <sighs> can you- can you like self-diagnose depression? Is that a thing? Am I gonna be in that video? They'd have to pay me a lot of money to be in that video. <laughs> nope. I feel like the one thing a lot of big YouTubers and Twitch streamers need, and there's kind of like a market for, so if anyone out there wants to make money, uh, go ahead and do this. They need PR teams, you know? The, I feel like somebody like Dream, especially someone like Dream, Needs a PR team, man. That guy, like, oh, he, take, he took the mask off, put it back on. <laughs> he can't make up his mind. Now he's, like, starring in Amaranth videos and shit. But he doesn't, like, does he still upload to YouTube? Is he more of, like, a personality now? Or, like, is he a, I, I, does he have a personality? I honestly can't fucking tell. Seems like he doesn't. I don't know. Do I need a PR team? Maybe. He's uploaded like five times this year. Then again, someone like Dream is... Dude, one of his uploads probably have more views than my entire channel has gotten. <laughs> Period. Actually, our channel's doing pretty good. Uh, we're, averaging, we're averaging like three million views a month over like the last like six months, which is nuts. Um, we For the first time ever, I, I hit one million hours of watch time in a month, which is crazy. I uh, didn't think that was ever possible. So, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I think doing the Mega Month was good, but I don't think I'll ever do it again. <laughs> because I want to do a video every two weeks, and then maybe like an extra, you know? But the problem is, would you guys be bothered if I didn't do quality control in some videos? 
Because I feel like we could upload, I could upload like an extra video every month if one of the videos was just low quality. Like as in not low quality, just didn't have a much of an intro. Like instead of like the green screen intro, it would just be a video where I sit here and go, all right guys, for this challenge, blah, 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 and then we jump into it. You know what would take your channel to the top? What? Cult Classic 2 Worlds 2. <sighs> Dude, I'm tempted. I think 2 Worlds 2 is going to be a video I make down the pipeline. Not any, not any time now. Because uh, it's an idea, but I also sat in the 2 Worlds idea for long, so. You prefer low quality, like 140p, 2004 YouTube style? You really enjoy the green screen intros? Yeah, but the thing is... I, I really like the green screen intros, but I don't think I can realistically upload more content because the green screen intros are all edited by me and they take quite a bit of time on top of gathering all the footage. The only way I think I could realistically upload more is if, you know, I do what I did this month where I just do more work, uh, which most likely means more less streaming. Or I just ha have one of the videos just be me sat there going... Hey guys, uh, this challenge for this video is this, this, that. Enjoy. Right. A best moments video would slap? It would. Maybe I could, uh, get someone on that? You know, I do have free editors now. I could just, like, you know, pay one of them to make a best of video for this year. Like, you know, best of 2023. That's not a bad idea, actually. Less streaming, once per week's too much. Uh, I was talking about how I'm streaming less now, Doctor. Because I'm f working on releasing too many videos this month before Starfield comes out. Which means I also want to take breaks too. <sighs> same green, green screen intro for same playlist videos. Yeah, I could like separate them into like low effort, high... Well, I could have like um. I've seen a lot of channels do this now, where what they do uh, is they have like, you know, uploads and then they have like a best of playlist where they only put in like their good, good videos. I might start doing that. Am I enjoying San Francisco so far? San Francisco is great, dude. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. I'm, um, you know, loving the city of San Francisco. Trust your editors to do a good job and they'll do better and better job every time. I don't trust my editors to do shit, dude. Okay, listen, my editors are like... You know how, like, you have a beehive? <clears throat> well, my editors... I'm the queen bee and all the bees inside of it. And my editors are like the honeycomb that hold the beehive together. But I don't pay them. Because why the fuck would I in this economy? Shut up, bitch. You know? oh Yo, bacon, thanks for the prime. <sighs> Anyways, hope everyone's doing good. Welcome in, Ted. Dude, do you remember the Ted film? With, uh, Seth MacFarlane. Do does anyone remember how that, like, bro- Everyone talked about that when it came out, and then the film just went away? <laughs> Am I permanently pregnant? No. Um. I don't think I can give birth to a child in my current state. They made a sequel? Yeah, nobody watched it. Literally, no one watched the sequel, right? To Ted. I don't know. <sighs> uh, you know, I do need to go to the toilet, so I'm just going to be back in two seconds, okay? Um, I'll set up the last... I'll set up the last one. Give me a sec. Because we have to... By the way, for people that don't know, we have to wait three days uh, <clears throat> to reset enemies. So I wait three days, reset enemies, and we're good. All right, here's the thing. <clears throat> we'll let you guys on some inf inside info, okay? Starfield? You know, Starfield is actually...
Where? What the fuck? Did I, did I load the wrong save? Chat, I was playing on my fucking Steam Deck. Fuck off, right? <laughs> oh, I, I had my Steam Deck connected. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. To the, I'm gonna go to the toilet and freak these guys out. And then I sat in the toilet and I peed and then I <laughs> sat there for like two extra minutes just waiting. Who was playing? Me. What do you mean? I pee sitting down. You know what? Sometimes I do pee sitting down. What's what's the problem with that? What, what am I supposed to stand up every time? Sometimes it's relaxing to sit down, bro. Yeah, look at that. Like a gentleman, yes. Excuse me, sir! Do I sit down nude when I'm peeing? No, I wear all my clothes. Dude, yeah, I make sure I'm still wearing clothes when I piss. <laughs> yeah, we just had my first Fallout 4 survival playthrough. Um, <clears throat> any advice for a newbie? Yes, the first 10 levels of any survival playthrough are the hardest part. Uh, Make sure you take the sneak skill Mark II, so or free, so you don't set off floor traps, because that's the thing that's gonna kill you the most. And Gotta also, it's on. Um, ballistic weave is very important for late game, and lone wanderer is very important for early game. Uh, as long as you know that, you should be fine. Yeah, that's really all I can say. Fallout for survival is hard, but if you know the intricacies and all that stuff and what you're supposed to do, you should be fine. Yeah, like, mines are the thing that kill you the most when you're first, like, playing survival, and then after a few playthroughs, you don't have to really worry about mines, because, uh, you start to learn where they, where they are and stuff like that. Also, you could still take dog meat with Lone Wanderer, so take Lone Wanderer and, and then take dog meat too. Simple. Also, I like how none of you guys noticed I switched t-shirt, by the way. Good job, Chad. Very observant of you. You did? You said that? Okay, I like that I didn't notice that people in chat said that. <laughs> Maybe that's better. I don't care. <laughs> okay, fair. That's fair. Why would we look at you? We're looking at the game. I had a dream that I was in Thailand on a moped at the, so at, at the back of a moped like a little little bitch and people behind me kept falling off their mopeds and I was streaming it or some shit that would be a pretty good content actually imagine that Hey guys, we're gonna go around uh, Thailand knocking people off their mo- Never mind, that's nah, not so good. I rolled Death Race stream. Oh my god, I remember the film Death Race. Holy shit. Wasn't that that very weird film? Where like they rode around, they, they, they drove around in like a big circle and then there was like mines and shit that like kind of looked like a video game. And it was like really bad but kind of Kind of one of those films that, like, the idea is good enough to carry the film. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. It's kind of like Hostel, right? Host the Hostel are, like, most of the Saw movies. They suck as movies. The shit. But the, the premise behind the movie is so strong that it, it's a good movie. Right? Do you live around the Midlands and the south of the UK? Um, where I live in the UK really shouldn't make a difference, but I live in London. Jason Statham was in it? Yo, oh yeah, he was! What about the film Rat Race? Is that the one with Ron Atkinson's in it? I like that one. In fact, do you want to know the reason why I didn't watch the Lion King remake? It's because they didn't recast Ron Atkins as uh, the, the bird. <laughs> Whatever the bird's called. Dude, that guy went out the window. What the fuck? Bam! Dead. 
Where are you? Nice. We'll go for it. Missed. Are we winning today? Yeah. Can you die, please? Nice. <sighs> I'm trying to think what else, though. Um, yeah, the, the the Rat Race, I remember the Rat Race film. Wasn't Smash Mouth in that? They were, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Smash Mouth were in that. I can't remember. Ooh, ver verified users? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I have to say this. Uh, if you're a verified chatter, please remove your verified badge in my Twitch chat. I'm, on, I'm, a, I'm the only verified user in this chat. I do not want you taking my reign. If you do not remove it, you will be permanently banned. It's got nothing to do with you. I'm just better than you. Great thing to watch after a college class. I wonder if there's people like that on Twitch. That like secretly get like angry whenever a verified user's in their chat. I feel like I feel like that might actually be a more common than you I might think it is actually. Yeah, I feel like if I was an affiliate and like a bunch of partners were in my chat, I'd get mad. <laughs> yeah, like I mean I wouldn't get mad, but I I like Oh dude, these motherfuckers in my chat coming in with a partner badge when I don't have one. Dream would do that? What do you think Dream would go into a bunch of affiliates' chats and just be like, ha ah, fuck you affiliate and just leave? <laughs> you know what, it kinda sounds like something Dream would do. He's getting peeved saying I was flaunting it and banned me. You know what, dude? I'm, I was gonna joke. You know what? I was joking at first, but love us see. You've been fucking flaunting it, dude. Okay, that's that's long enough to keep someone banned. <laughs> Anyways, I s you see his new trim? What dreams? Is that what we're calling his mask now? His trim. You know what? I'm gonna fuck. You know what? I'm gonna make a mask. I'm gonna come back with a mask, and and then people will care about me, right? If I wear a mask, I might do it. I'm gonna come back with a scream mask on. <laughs> I couldn't find one, guys. This is the best I could do. Are these streams scripted? If these streams were scripted, they would genuinely be the worst scripted content produced by a human being. I could probably find, like, you know, amateur pawn that has better scripting than this. None of this is script. What do you want me to do? It's not script. This is not pre-recorded. It's not script. The whole Steam Deck thing was a joke. Okay. Because of writer's strikes. That's why. Do you think I would script a video in the middle of writer's strikes? Yes, I did. Because I went across the picket line. Fuck you guys. All right. Back to Hoover's comics. They scripted the Justice League. True. Every Jabba stream is personalized. Okay, what do I have to prove for you guys? What if I do like something like this? This stream... I can't type. This stream is not pre-recorded. Does that make it look more suspicious or... Do a, do a personal ASMR? What what the fuck is that? What do you mean put? I mean like. Was this one? Hello. Hello and welcome to my ASMR YouTube follow-up playthrough. 
sometimes I uh, dream about. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're gonna be playing a bit of Fall Fall. We're doing a bit of fawning right now. Oh, that's a legendary kill. That's really bad. You know, sometimes I uh, cry in my sleep. Oh, nice, what a kill. Anyways, top floor. Uh, there should be two in this room. Yep. One in this room across. There he is, bastard. Fucking dickhead. Honestly, man. You know, I also was a dickhead in my life. My mom. <laughs> you know, I was reading the comments earlier. I was reading the comments of my last ASMR video, right? And you motherfuckers. What's that talking about how I had a bad voice? Fuck you guys, all right? I've tried my fucking hardest out here. Anyways, uh, we're going back downstairs. We're gonna be doing a bit of exploring around the world of Fallout. Wall. <laughs> Could you imagine if somebody did ASMR and started getting like super aggressive midway through? <laughs> Which is like, ah, oh, fuck you, man. That would be good. No, I, I personally hate ASMR. It's like one of my least favorite things. I actually physically hate it. Because the thing about ASMR, right, is people like to pretend that ASMR, when it comes to people's voice, isn't inherently sexual. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm calling out- I'm calling it out where it is. S to, whispering into someone's ear like that is extremely- it, obvious- it is! It's extremely sexual. It has to be. There's no other way around it. And it's like, oh, dude, but what if it's like a doctor ASMR? Then you have a kink for doctors! I don't know! Jesus! Is Lucy still banned? I unbanned her! Lucy, are you still banned? I swear to God, I unbanned you! Oh my God, is it not working? Can one of the mods unban Love Lucy? Ah, oh, shit. I summon salt. I can't unban her. <laughs> it won't let me! One sec, I'm getting, I'm getting on my phone. Give me a second. I'm getting him in my chat. Maybe, maybe she thinks I actually... <laughs> you know... You know what, I meant it, chat. I have to, I have to double down. Is it this one? Slash? Unban? L-U-V-V-U-C-Y. Okay, I did it. Holy shit. Why is it not working on my desktop like that? That's weird. Okay, we're gonna do one more round of farming because I think one more round should be enough to maybe finish the game. We'll see. You ever play the Warhammer 40k games? Uh, yes. I like the Vermintide games. I think they're great. There's l l l Okay. She's- <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> Did we- <laughs> Oh, shit. I think we fucked up, chat. <laughs> Ah, whatever. I think we did fuck up, yeah. Did somebody tag me in a tweet that is... Like, they tagged me in a tweet, right? With, like, a bunch of other people. And then... I went to check the tweet that they tagged me in. And their account was banned. Like, somebody added me in, like, under a tweet, right? Okay, never mind. One time, I saw Monster Girl Romance ASMR in my YouTube recommendations and listened to it out of morbid curiosity. I can't hear you. Just Monster Girl Romance ASMR. It was Monster Girl Romance ASMR ending in good, with sound effects. I haven't been the same since. I, I actually, I don't know if chat can hear you much better, but my game's very loud. Um... I'm- I'm very happy for you. Yeah, I- I played the Vermintide, uh, 40k games. I- I- I really like them. Uh, the 40k- the 40k Vermintide games are, like, Left 4 Dead if they kept making them. I actually hate that they stopped making Left 4 Dead games. Left 4 Dead had such a unique and good formula, but they were the only people to do it right. That's my- that's my take. Vermintide came close, and Vermintide does work. But the problem with Vermintide is it's not fucking- I wanna- I wanna kill zombies, man! I thought you muted, but I had my volume down. <laughs> just play- just- just- just play back for blood! 
Vermintide is fantasy, not 40k. I, they, I don't know the difference between the two. I'm being fucking honest with you. Also, Back for Blood is like literally one of the worst games ever made. I'm a tired. Hey, Jabba Daddy. <laughs> hey, Valuable Goo, thank you so much for the free moves, man. Uh, appreciate it. I know what 40k is. Decided I will no longer be paying it's taxes. It's the, the guys with the big fucking armor. What are armor they gonna do? <laughs> Tax me more? Yeah, you know what I mean? I know what it is. Yo, Kyle, thank you for the tier 1, 2. Shit, my bad. Thank you for the tier 1, 2. Who cares? It's all Warhammer. I don't know the difference, is what I'm saying, because I'm not a. I, I, I am a loser, but not a 40k Warhammer loser. I, I, I went down the different, you know, evolutionary path. You guys are like the. You guys are like the chimpanzee. I'm more like the uh, undeveloped primate. <laughs> I don't know if there's like. Is there, what, is there a type of monkey? What are the monkeys called? The, is it just monkeys? Like the really dumb ones? Because chimpanzees and apes are really smart. Monkeys are stupid as fuck, right? Well, not stupid, but... I'm, I'm the monkey, you guys are the chimpanzees, and... Uh... Blue names in the chat are apes. Sure. Am I still doing this? Alpha Wolfgang Uwu, I made a fucking promise that I would have all three parts of this fucking video out, right? Before Starfield released. Which means I have to do this. I have no choice. I've been doing this for fucking 42 hours, man. Why do you think I've not been streaming? You think I've not been streaming because I've been busy? I just don't want to stream this. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm actually kind of enjoying this run, but holy shit, I want to play something else. The thing that made uh, Fallout work so well for this channel was I could do other things. I wish I could stay and watch the stream, but I have to go be an adult. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Uh... That's why you're fucked up in life, dude. Growing up, you should never do that. Stay young, man. Young and free and homeless. How many hours have I got in San Francisco? Let me check for you. Oh, you mean Starfield. Oh. I currently have 12 hours in Starfield. Oh! <gasps> no! I got two achievements! Ah, oh, fuck. I was in- oh, shit! I was intentionally trying not to get achievements. Fuck! I was getting console- I was- every time I'd do a new playthrough, I'd use console commands. So, like, I wouldn't get achievements. So I'd get them on the pl- Can I say anything about whether I like Starfield or not? I cannot. What I can say is I do plan on streaming the game a lot, non-stop. I can say that, um... You know, I- I don't know. You can reset them? I know. I, what if I get vac banned? <laughs> what if Starfield comes out with like a multiplayer or like a battle royale, you know, and I can't play online? Sorry, Mr. Yogua. Chat, I can't tell you guys anything about the game, okay? I don't know what I can and can't say, but I'm not even gonna try and push it, okay? Here's what I'm gonna say. Starfield, I got a review copy. I've been playing it. That's it. On the 1st of September, it's like, what, three days away? I'm gonna release a one-hour uh, review on my vod chat on my second channel. <laughs> if you guys want to care about my opinion, care about it then. Fuck you. Wow! Can you believe it? Only three days away. Steam achievement manager. Yeah, don't worry, I got it. Is Starfield a game? I can't even say that. It could be a multimedia experience. <laughs> you know? Some people could see it as a book. An Excel spreadsheet. Depends on how you perceive, see the perspective of these games, right? I'm excited to, to watch the VODs next year when I'm doing- when I'm done playing the game. Okay. I really don't think it's gonna take that long for you to uh, come around. I, I feel like I can't even comment on that. Uh, what I can say is Bethesda games have this tendency to be games that you can sit and play, and once you get over a certain threshold of playing that game, there's not really anything else new, and it more becomes how you play the game. And at that point, the average person isn't going to venture out and do, like, a challenge run. They're more gonna want to watch somebody else do it. 
So that's all I can say. Does that makes sense. I don't know if that even makes sense. It makes sense to me. About mods, uh, they already said that people were able to mod the game. Uh, and usually creative engine kits take like a couple of months to come out. So, we'll probably get a lot of like base game, rudimental mods, and then we'll get the creation kit mods that'll come like... Three, four, five, six months whenever they release that. I don't know if they w are gonna release that. I can't I can talk about that because I don't have any fucking insider information, so... CBBE is gonna be the first mod. Yeah, that's like saying... Like, oh, on 4th of July, they're going to set off fireworks. Yeah, good one, dude. Dude, CBBE is going to be the, the most installed mod for any Bethesda game. And the, I can guarantee you, the most installed five mods of any Bethesda game are all pawn mods. <laughs> That's just its just how it is. For some reason, people who play Bethesda game games are like horny as fuck. I don't get it. I, I genuinely don't get it. Genuinely. G genuinely. What the fuck is wrong with you guys, huh? Go watch some porn. Oh, dude, I'm- Oh, I can't jerk off unless I'm, you know, watching Piper get railed by someone in Fallout 4. Dude, you know- you know how fucked you guys are gonna be out- you're gonna, you're gonna be fucked when it comes to sex, you know that, right? She's gonna be like, oh, why isn't it hard? Ah, shit, one second, sorry, let me load up Fallout 4. Man, what the fuck? And then- and then there's some normal mods that rely on CBB, yeah, but I- I do get that. <laughs> Do you say Bloatfly Rule 34? Okay, we're gonna put our chat in emote only mode for a bit. I think we need to cool off. Uh, and everyone needs to take a second to reflect upon the things that they're saying in my Twitch chat. Uh, whatever they may be. I think we need to reevaluate ourselves as a community. Maybe, uh... Figure out where we fit in this earth, you know? Because I, I really don't want to fit in the surf next to you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys can show me your favorite emotes, though. That's cool. You can do that while we're in emote-only mode. I need I need new emotes, I think. We have good emotes on this channel, but um, I feel like m my channel emotes have escaped me a bit. Been too focused on YouTube and Twitch and all this other stuff and thumbnails and all that shit. Uh, I think I need to get around to like commissioning thumbnail, uh, commissioning emote artists so we get some more emotes. That being said, if people, if anyone has any ideas for emotes, at me on Discord with them. Just DM me, at me on Discord. Uh, I probably won't reply to you, but it will go in. It just doesn't come out. <laughs> Does that make sense? You guys get that? Do my job for me. Thanks. Uh, when I don't think we're on emote only mode anymore. You guys can type normally in chat. I'm just the most useless member of True. society. Also, spoiler, but my next video is going to be sponsored by Enlisted. I've actually been playing quite a lot of Enlisted, and uh, I've actually kind of enjoying it. Um... Which I was surprised at because, you know, a lot of sponsor games you play in, and they're just sponsor games, right? You know, it's- everyone respects it and gets it. You know, you, it's a game that you've been paid a lot of money to sponsor, and you've checked it over to make sure it's not scummy in any way, and then, you know, it's like, okay, fine. Starfield- not Starfield. Uh, Enlisted. Sorry. <laughs> it's not- like, it's got a few flaws around. It, it's- it, it feels like it, it needs a bit of cleanup, gameplay-wise, but- Genuinely, it's really fun. Uh, and the best thing about it is uh, most of the people you play against and play with are bots, but they're not like... It's more like you, you control like a platoon of people. Does that make sense? I'm kind of enjoying it. There goes the sponsor. It's just my raw opinions. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I kind of actually enjoy it. How much are they going to pay me for it? I'll pay you guys. Thing is, I've never played War Thunder, though. So maybe this make me think maybe I should play War Thunder. No, I have played War Thunder. Never mind. I did play a bit of it. Did you have a legendary? No. Oh, you did. 
Yo, Wolf Hunt is grindy. So is Enlisted, though. Enlisted is kind of grindy unless you got a Premier account. But the thing is, I don't think it really changes much about the game. Although, that being said, when someone runs in with, like, a heavy machine gun and starts gunning you down, you know it's because they're, like, level 50. Also, hi, Benpai. Sweet. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Did you miss anything interesting? Yeah, this legendary robot's about to drop one of the best weapons in the game right here, right now. Are you ready for this? This is going to be the best weapon drop of any game ever. You guys are going to be absolutely fucking amazed. Watch this. Wait, can I do this thing? Not launching the thing. Hello. Yes, there we go. It is I, Morgan Freeman. On this day, on the twenty eighth of August, twenty twenty three, Jabo did this one amazing thing by killing the legendary Sentry Bot. Oh, Automatron Bot, whatever the fuck, I'm coming, and getting the best weapon in the game. On this day. In front of 10 million people, Jabo got the world's best weapon in Fall of Fall. Get wrecked, you idiots. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Somebody can clip that and end it right as I start to cry. That's a perfect clip. I'm telling you guys. <sighs> it's not worth paying Mr. Freeman to appear on It's not. I'm not gonna do it too much today. Don't worry, Benpai. I know I know you've been really fucking you've had a rough time. I know last stream was a bit mental. Trust me, we're a bit chill today, right, chat? Oh my god! Dude! Oh my god, graphics, thank you so much for the super chat. I want my sub money back after that. Oh. I'm out of coke chat. What do I do with my life? Alright, uh, we got two level ups as well, which is pretty good. Oh my god, is that the super chat? Um I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to talk to you guys about. Uh I don't know. I'm still... I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to make a Starfield video before it comes out. Because I was... Now that Benpai's here, I can discuss this. I was thinking about doing, like, a top ten... Top no. ten, like, tips and tricks for new players. Because there is a lot of stuff in Starfield. But more importantly, with my knowledge of Fallout 4, a lot of the knowledge from Fallout 4 does hold, like, crossover to Starfield. Um, for example... Can I say this? I can't say this. What I can say is in Fallout 4, if you pick up a weapon, you get half of the uh, ammo magazine. That's a thing in Fallout 4. In Fallout 4, if, if I pick up a submachine gun, I get 25 ammo because the, the submachine gun holds 50 ammo. I feel like the average person doesn't know that. Hit new lilt yet? Uh, yes, I have. It's quite good. But the thing is, I don't know if I'll do a 10 because I feel like I've been overworked a bit and also not streaming as much. I kind of want to just focus on streaming and then playing Starfield when it comes out and having a well old fun time with my Twitch chat. <laughs> the average person doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> True. If you can whip it out in a day, I said do it. Nah, I don't think I could whip it out in a day. I think I might... What I might do is I might just attach the ideas onto the review so do the review which is literally just gonna be one hour of me playing the game talking about it and then just chuck in some like little did you know type things that could work fuck it i'll just do that <sighs> how fast are the runs gonna be in starfield i literally couldn't tell you even if i didn't have an india because that's not how speedrunning works Speedrunning is a very incredibly crazy thing about 
thousands or hundreds or tens of people coming together and finding amazing things in the game and putting it together and making a cool speedrun. I can't dictate or even have any, cl like, clue as to what Starfield is going to be like speedrun-wise. Because, well, I can't say. I wish I could say. Am I going to get back into speedrunning? <sighs> Probably not. I might, I, I'm obviously going to, okay, I'm going to let you guys down. Let you guys, not down. I'm gonna let, you know what? I'm gonna let you guys down. I'm gonna bring you back up. I don't think I'm gonna do speedrunning in Starfield. That's it. Simple, end of the line. I don't think I'll be doing speedrunning. But, I will be, be doing... Can you speak about Field Star, though? No. I will be doing um, all achievements in one setting. Which means I have to do all achievement speedruns. So I will do all achievement speedruns eventually, and there will be all achievements in one sitting. But there won't be <clears throat> speedrunning on a daily level. Unless the speedrun is good. If the speedrun is good, then I might just do one speedrun. Because, think about it, right? I have Tile 3 coming out, then do a speedrun video, and then do... But no, I don't think it will work. I don't think it's good for the channel. I don't think we'll be doing speedrun stuff. I can't say for definite, but I don't think we will. <sighs> Unless branching out. Can you give me advice on streaming? Uh, don't. It's the worst advice ever. No, the best advice is focus on something else other than Twitch streaming. Focus on YouTube. If you want to get big on Twitch, uh, grow your YouTube channel. Or stream 24-7 because you only have two choices. <laughs> you either have to stream every fucking day, let people into your lives, become super parasocial and feed off of it, and hope that one day it gets you to a point where you're big enough to actually feel like you can live a good life off of it. Or, you just grow off of Twitch and bring it to Twitch. But then at that point, you might as well stick to YouTube and just grow that. Honestly, I don't know why more and more people are getting into streaming. I feel like streaming has already passed its, like, effort in, money out peak per average person. And at this point, most people are putting in way too much energy to get such little out. And I say money because most people get into streaming now thinking about money, so. <sighs> Are we grinding to get to the weird pyramid building? Pretty much. I'm grinding to get to, uh, to, to be able to do the next couple of missions without stopping. Because what I would do, Vampire, just, this is for you for by the way, just letting you know. Um, I'm Please trying to like get the boring farming out the way and then the fun New stuff. Vegas. Just thought. Some people stream for fun. Yeah, but I usually find that the people that stream for fun don't come for advice on how to grow as a streamer. Because they, they just naturally do it. So when somebody comes to me and asks me for advice about how to grow as a streamer, and how to, like, you know, become a streamer, usually it's because they want to... Either one way or another, they want to increase their viewership, whether it's for money or because they want to, you know, have people in their chat or they want to, you know, there's, there's a reason somewhere. So I'm just giving you the best, I'm giving you the best advice I can give from my experience. And the best thing about that is it's probably the worst advice for you. Uh, the best advice is to just explore, let the people around you influence your decisions and see where it takes you. True. Right, I think we need to get solar powered next. No, I don't think we do. What should we go for? Life Giver would be good. Right from minute 46, so we're two levels away from that. I don't really want money, I just love Fallout, want to grow a community. Then, um, honestly, best advice for that is to probably just stream consistently and make sure you're doing things that are interesting. Um, if you want to be separated from the rest of the, like, people streaming Fallout and all that other shit, um, if you have, if you have like a goal in mind for your stream, like we're doing this, this is what we're doing. People are more likely to watch you. Uh, yeah, you can zoom in. I, I did. I, I think it's crazy that I didn't know you could zoom in on the perk tree, man. Um, not. I don't need anything. Having energy seems imp important, and you seem to have a lot of it. For streaming, it depends. Some people, that, that's, I don't think that's as important as people think it is. Uh, I know, I know a streamer friend of mine who has chronic fatigue syndrome. And she streams like once or twice a week, but she still has a community. And she still does pretty well. 
Um, right, I'm going to take Life Giver and Adamantium Skeleton because we might as well just take things that keep us alive. And then let's go back to the Pridwin. How is it I got to the Pridwin originally? It was from Old North Church, right? I could probably just run there from here. I think the tiles are connected. I honestly don't think Jabbo understands why people watch him. I don't. I don't know why people watch me. <laughs> I don't need to know because I'm not like, I work on a change and see what it does basis. And if people are here to watch because, oh, they think I'm funny or whatever, then they're going to watch no matter what I do mostly. So it should be fine. I don't know. I feel like content isn't as like stoic as people think it is. I think there's like fluidity to it. And the more fluid you think about your ideas and your content, the better. Because you're more likely to change. I don't know how to get to... How I got to old... Oh, it was from Bunker Hill! Now I remember. Okay. No, it's not rice. I think Ben Pai's gonna have time to edit that eventually if he wants to. That's up to him. Hmm. I identify as content fluid. Yes. 12k viewer body painting streams with the title How Is This Allowed? A set of jugs will get you there. Uh, I've seen that stream before on Twitch. I'm surprised that stream is not banned. Um, uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. You're talking about the Twitch streamer that has that sits there in the body painting section and literally doesn't body paint and just has a boobs out. I'm just going to call it for what it is because I think it's one of the worst things that you can do. Uh, this is my hot take of the day. Personally, I don't think um, people complaining about booby streamers should be a thing. If somebody wants to watch a booby streamer, they're going to go watch a booby streamer. It doesn't really matter. But I think misusing the labels of your like community is horrible. There are people who genuinely do body painting and have to deal with sexual harassment constantly, and they do it because they appreciate the art. And then the people that come over and just abuse that like system just to get more views because they have a nice body are just ruining it for people. Disgusting where? You guys can find it. It's Twitch. God, just go just search it. So yeah, I I, I don't know. It kind of sucks. Like, Twitch literally tried to fix the, like, the problem by making, like, a gym pool and thingy. You, you, you know what I mean? Like, we had Just Chatting, and it was, like, tons of, like, really sexual explicit people in Just Chatting, which is fine, but whatever, right? And then Twitch came along, and we're like, okay, our solution to the problem is we're gonna make a category for you guys to, like, do that shit in. So if people want to watch that content, they can go watch it there. And you know what? It worked. But it didn't work out for, for like, you know, these streamers because they got less viewers. So guess what they've done? They've crawled back into the other directories, and that directory is just null and void now. Um, and just, I've because Twitch axed, like, 40% of their employment team, they have no idea what they're doing. Now, my opinion of those streamers is still that they're streamers, and they're earning money, and good for them. I don't have any care in the world, right? If you, if you make, if you can make money doing that shit, then why the fuck wouldn't you? I don't have a problem with that. Um, I also don't have a problem with people, like, being in directories and all that stuff. It's just the idea of abusing your presence in a community that is as small as body painting just sounds horrible to me. I don't know, I just- that's- that- that- I've never liked that. I don't know. Because it's like, you take a community of people that, you know, enjoy their art, and yeah, they can be a bit sexually explicit, maybe not, but that's part of their art, right? And then you come along and you just totally abuse that, and it's just like... <laughs> because if you've ever seen the stream, which I would advise people to click on to get a full picture of what I'm saying... <clears throat> they're not even body painting. At all. Oh my god, how high level are these guys? I can't even show it on my stream. Because I'm not worried that it'll get me banned off Twitch. You know what I mean? CFS sucks. Uh, what's CFS? I'm level 44. Dude, I'm playing on very hard. It's one of the... I'd say very hard is harder than survival. Chronic fatigue syndrome? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody has chronic fatigue syndrome and thinks, wow, what a grit. Yeah. 
don't know if you. Never mind. I don't think I can ask you that, Benpai. I have All a right. message for Jabo. Please stop speedrunning Fallout New Vegas. Just How many subs for a body paint stream? How many subs for a body paint stream? Can, why am I, why is my sub count not updating? It pisses me off. Wait, I can fix it. Oh, wait. I can fix my sub count. Wait, wait, wait. If I do this, add. No, that won't work. Never mind. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. 24 hour body paint subathon? I am not body painting, Chad. You know, I actually hate the way paint feels on the body. I would never- I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to- Like, that's- Oh. Fuck out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, thank you. It's like, you know when people, like, cover their hand in glue, and then they rip off the glue? And they're like, oh, look at this, bro. Haha, <laughs> wow, it feels so good. It's like I'm shedding. That shit freaks me out. I can't stand that. Jesus Christ. You donate 20,000 pounds. Yo, Dr. Testic. And then this starts happening. Decided I will no longer be paying taxes. Thank you. What are they gonna do? Tax me more? Yes. I'm just the most useless member of society. Give us the payment. <sighs> you see a lot of kids doing that in school? Yeah, I mean, I personally don't understand of put it, the, the whole point of putting paint on yourself. I thought you were supposed to get it inside of you. Right? Eat paint, stick it up your bum, sniff it. There's all these things you can do with paint. Why would you want to put it on your hand? Makes no sense to me. Where the fuck are my tiles gone? Oh! I'm stupid! We took the... We took the, the helicopter bird thing. <laughs> I don't have tiles for the bread win. I'm not high. If I was high, uh, dude, when I'm high, I, I don't talk. I do the opposite. When I'm high, I, I literally just don't do anything. That hand glue thing is the worst. Anyone True. Doing it was a menace to society. True. Are you allowed to go there when there's no connection to the main grid? Um, yeah, if I got there through conventional means. Like, if the game takes me there, then sure. Like, what, am I supposed to have magically tile into the Institute because the, the teleporter took me there? There's no way to tile to the Institute because you need a teleporter to get there. I can be petty. I can do this. I, I'm here all day! You know, me and my girlfriend were talking about how the next generation of kids who are most likely watching this stream um, are completely fucked because her generation learned how to cook, right? But I feel like I didn't learn how to cook. And I, I don't know if that's bad parenting or if that's because generational thing. But almost everyone I know my age doesn't know how to cook. Proctor, and I was just thinking about came it. Across a hollow and I'm like, isn't that situation just going to get worse? Tape. The full scan of the institute's network. Thanks. I didn't you know, put glue it's good on to see you're still in uh -huh. I yep. just I wasn't worried. After all, I'm 25. I, think of it. That I might have explain a lot of things too. about me. But that's uh -huh. speaking of dying to. Uh huh. Hopefully yeah, I mean, I I, I know how to cook now, and I learned how to like before cook in school. Sure the institute has all of but like you know, there was a generation like my parents didn't teach me shit. Time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. The only thing my parents actually taught me how to make. Whatever it is. Oh yeah, I'm 26. Sure Never mind. Crush the institute. I, sorry, I, I'm 26. My girlfriend just came in to remind me. I'm 26. Um. We've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Max and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe to toe with the institute. Now the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. Dude, can you like? That's where our new project comes in. Right. Yeah. Happy birthday? It's not my fucking birthday, man. Do you think I learned how to cook because it was my birthday? Or oh right, because I said I just turned twenty six. I haven't just turned twenty six. Okay. Chat, I've been twenty six ever since I was born. <laughs> I'm a synth, guys. Okay, I have a sell by did. This storage bay full of parts. Can you get in? Oh my god, dude, the AI is so fucked. We've like just completely messed with the AI in this entire playthrough. Yeah, two seconds, bro. I gotta catch up. 
Fortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. Right. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. Check the back of his sack for a number. That was easy. Try rebuilding a protection. If I dude, if you were gonna brand someone because they were not real, you'd put it on the no inside. Problem. I'm sure this you wouldn't do it on like the outside. Uh, Stop saying happy birthday. Really it's that. not my birthday. Luckily, she was Back of the head. <sighs> Up we go, boys. Check his prostate. Yeah, I really don't think there's like a number on my. Okay. Chat, do you guys know it's it's um Juve's birthday today? If you guys see Juve in chat or if he goes live, you should tell him it's his birthday. I don't know. I feel like none of you guys ever like actually go through the ideas that I have. <laughs> Check the belly button. Oh, Riot! Thank you for the 2,000 bits! I, um... You know what? It is my birthday. How about that? Now it is. Thanks for the 2,000 bits, Riot. Is that THE Riot Games? Holy shit, bro. I, I kind of fucked the tiling here. We don't talk about it. Jesus. Happy birthday, bruv. In it. Thank you for the 2,000 bits. What do I want for my birthday? Starfield. <gasps> Wait. Uh, by the way, my, my intro... I was thinking about an intro to my video chat. And my intro was going to be, like, me... In, in like priest clothing praying to like Starfield or some shit right <gasps> right hey I your chat so because I touched the floor I that was okay I'm just gonna teleport to the oh, god I have to do this all again <sighs> all right we'll do it Never mind. Right, we're here, just sitting in the car. I want you to show me if you can get far. Step on the gas. Step on the gas. Step that's your brakes. fault, but that's so alert. Step on the brakes. Wait, that's because I gifted a sub. Step on the gas. Fuck! Step on the gas. When, when that's a boom, 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 boom you said bam, bam, bam. No pause in between. Come on, Come on, on let's jam. jam. Step, Step on, on the gas. gas. Step on the gas. Step on the brakes. <sighs> Alright, we're back. Check and turn the signal to the right. I talk to you from here? Okay. Proctor, I came across a hollow tape with a full scan of the Institute's network. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. I wasn't worried. After I have confidence. Uh, Alright! Thank you. Hopefully it'll for me, for gifting a sub. Huh? I appreciate it, Jabbo. Uh-huh. Whatever it is, I'm sure. <sighs> I know, I know I can, uh... Basically, quick save, but I keep forgetting. Like, why am I gonna remember the quick save after doing this? Oh my god! No way! Thing is, you know what annoys me about having a review copy of Starfield is I can't even speculate on the game. I can't make jokes. Like, Oh, I really hope they put a, uh, uh, Liberty Prime Easter egg in Starfield. Because then people will be like, oh, they did. He knows. You know? And I don't. Ingram? In order to get Liberty Prime fully operation. No problem. I, I'm not confused. Sure <laughs> no. Because <laughs> now... Mm -hmm. Oh, boohoo, streamer can't talk about a game he has early access uh, for free? Uh-huh. Bro. You know, I, usually it wouldn't be a, a problem to me, but like, it's all getting leaked anyways. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, where we have to go to? Pridwin, go talk to Dr. Lee. Mm. 
My ta my Twitter timeline's full of shit that like. <laughs> and you know, the, dude, one of the worst parts is people were saying that they. Okay, never mind. You know what? You probably saved me from just talking about shit that I shouldn't. Thank you, but enough cringe. Yeah, didn't someone get arrested? <laughs> someone didn't someone get like arrested and like fined because they were like trying to sell off their copy of Starfield. They had like an early copy and then they were trying to like fucking sell it off. Yo, Butternut Crunch, thank you so much for the Prime, dude. I do appreciate it. You ever, you ever played RuneScape? Yes. Who who hasn't played RuneScape? Attention. I feel like this is a reminder. Any recovered historical, technological, or they stole 10k worth of Starfield stuff. Okay, never mind. Fuck them life. then. I didn't know that. I thought they just had an that early copy of the game. Nice work bringing Doctor Lee back in. I'm looking for some firepower. Be my guest. Do 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 do. After about 10 minutes of walking. Right, I don't know about that. Buddy. <laughs> Is this my ammo? Do I? Have, why have? So, why do I have so many mini nukes? Oh no, don't sell the shotgun shells. Uh, do I even have a shotgun? <laughs> That's bang on zero, I'll take that. Yo, Dr. Lee! If you're here to talk me into working on this, you promised you'd help. What's my true you're opinion right. on the Brotherhood? Why would uh, in Fallout 3, they're really cool. In Fallout 1 and 2, they're kind of underwhelming. In Fallout New Vegas, they're very, very underwhelming and also very stupid. And in Fallout 4, they're cunts. But at the same time, in Fallout 4, they're at least interesting when two of the four options are boring as fuck. Railroad and Minutemen are so similar that it's like, oh my god, I can't be asked, dude. There should be one morally correct option and three morally fucked options. That's how these games should work. No, give me, give me the one good option. <laughs> I'll pass. Oh, the fucked up option with the brother to steal and the institute. I, hell yeah, dude. Interesting, fun. <sighs> yeah, I do remember that Ben Pai. <laughs> uh, the classic old days. What is this for now? Speak to Proctor Ingram again. <sighs> yeah, this is why. Uh. This is where 76 is like, not 76, Fallout 4's like main story type stuff gets really kind of annoying when it's just walking back and forth between people talking to them. Oh, uh, hey, can you go get me the super magnets from this one uh, depot, please? Yeah, sure, bro. And then you have to talk to like Dr. Ingram, Lee, Ingram again, then Lee, then, you know, oh, Paladin Dance has turned into a robot. Fuck me, you know? New thing every day with this game. That's way too close. It's worse than Skyrim. Oh, dude. <laughs> Skyrim is way worse. I don't even know the story in Skyrim. I play Oblivion. Oh, you know, something about like the fucking... The, the guy who has like a bloodline and he's like the, like the, you know, the leader of Oblivion. He's the king, whatever. Wow, cool. Skyrim? We got to the- I got to the High Temple the first playthrough and I was like, what the fuck is happening? Why am I in a- What? It's two people. That's the blades. Two people. Oh, but we're, oh, we're such a- we need to take on the rest of the dragons and there's only two of us, but we somehow managed to do it. Oh, come on. They would have like- I'm sorry. If- If- there was dragons attacking the realm that you lived in. You would have a task force in the fucking thousands, right? You'd have like, oh, it's me, Hi Hofka. I am the, the strongest soldier in the entirety of Skyrim. Hello, it's me, and I'm an elf, but I'm actually magic. And you know, it'd be like shit like that. It wouldn't be Bella Delphine and a fuckboy. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some stuff. Uh, the good mm, if you're sure. Mm. Sorry about that. Angel. Oh, and that's. Don't an worry about it. One thing. Uh, right. There's sure. a lot of things that I'm That's so excited. You're ready to leap in. Uh. <sighs> I need a pillow. I need something to scream into. <laughs> you don't understand how hard this is. 
that. All right, what do I have to do? Locate a high-powered magnet. Okay, where is this on the map? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Can I just buy one from Diamond City Market? I think, right? I think I can. You should do law videos. You want law videos? A lot of people don't know, but Diamond City is actually a city. Is that what you want? High-powered magnet. Sure. Let's take a look. High-powered magnet. Oh. You know, being here right now with you guys, uh, I've kind of realized that I actually am one of the luckiest people on the planet. Not for having you guys. You know, adding Prime subs to Twitch was like the worst thing they, they ever did. I'll say it. Because they give the average person a way to, uh, subscribe. <laughs> it's like, now, now, oh, we've leveled the play, playing field. The average person can subscribe to someone. Oh, great. Now I have to listen to- I'm oh! just the most useless member of society. Thanks, Biblo. Divide my cheeks. Soup is wet. Big bad Liam. So what's the news? Oh god. I, um, I think I'm gonna get a, a steak bake from Greg's for lunch. Oh my god! Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for the Prime subs. I can't believe that actually worked. I've never had that work before, where I just mentioned Prime and like five people subbed. Um, Jabo, you have no life. Yes, but I can guarantee you, I probably have more of a life than you do. Yo, Pios! Thank you for the six months! And party players! Thank you for the primes. Hello. Welcome to this sub club. Let's get his ass up there. Oh, can't build there. He <laughs> tiles. I like when my tiles don't fucking work, man. <sighs> you keep mentioning how cool Liberty Prime is. I'm not trying to subliminal message anybody. Shut up, dude. You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> what do tiles even do? Okay. I have not stepped off a tile this entire playthrough. Very much. All right. Do you think I step on them because it's fun? Or do you think it's the, kind of the entire point of the challenge run? <laughs> you have? Okay, I have stepped off the tile, but it, unintentionally, right? Why the fuck are you over there? Oh, it's because I have to build the things. Right, I remember this. Drafting the next Dexter article. Isn't it De Dexerta? Oh, you know what? I actually hate them. I don't like Dick Soda at all. I think they suck. The, to me, they're like... The worst... One of the worst things that have happened to the content creator space. Because they just... They literally rage bait. And like... Do like all this shit so much. And it's just annoying. It's just... It's so fucking... I'm so sick of like seeing it everywhere. Like, oh dude. Look at this shit. Get mad at this. This streamer got big by doing this. Oh, get angry. Because you, you're you not successful like they are. And why are you walking them over one at a time? Because sometimes the system breaks and I have to do this. It happens. You hate rage content. And now, and now like, there's just engagement content on Twitter as well. It fucking sucks. Because, you know, people make money based off of engagement. So now, you know, I just get, like, a ton of, like shit YouTube, like, Twitter posts that are just like, oh, what's your favorite meal of the day? What are you doing today? You know? What, what are you, oh, what would you do in this situation? What do you mean, what would I do in this situation? What, when the world's fucking ending? Ooh, I don't know, bro. <laughs> it's 
Yeah, it's like this, and then like the amount of times I see the same meme now on Twitter over and over again because what happens is when one tweet blows up, people steal it and repost it so they get the same engagement because now engagement also means money. <sighs> Anyways. Excuse me. Do I, get, do I gotta press the button? That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice can I press? Right on can I him. press the button, I've please? The restoration of Prime's basic functions, and he's ready to go. Bro, where's yeah, his legs? Difficult to explain to the system why it can't what move What the right fuck? Now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, <sighs> we'll have his arms and legs. Jabo, if you played COD, would you, would you get bullied? Considering the majority of COD time. players are American. It won't be long before Prime can. Dakota McGregor two seven seven. I'm gonna teach you something really, really cool. It's called region, regions, or just like you know. You know, localized um, online multiplayer, which is basically like, um, you know, if you are in East Coast, most of the people you play against are from the East Coast. Maybe some Midwesterns, but you know, you're not gonna be playing against like West Coasters or probably not Europeans, right? So you think that most people playing Call of Duty are American, because from your perspective, most people that you play with are American. I would probably argue it's more 50-50, American, European. Uh, maybe even China as well. Um, but yeah, I play with Europeans, and I would- I- I wish I was American when it comes to playing online games, and I'll say that because Europeans are horrible sometimes, and they also- most of them don't speak English. So, when you're playing CSGO, and you're going, hey bro, six guys on the air site, and then they start- they turn around and start calling you slurs. It's why I stopped playing CS. <laughs> Walk talk. Without Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they but, are. But, um, uh, crimes uh, true. The com but that, hmm? without a full She's right. Of course, what? I'm in the UK and I have to play an Australian oh, servers because I'm too good for UK servers. I suggest you hope I don't think that's a thing. I think what what is happening is you think Australian servers are harder because of a thing called ping, which makes you feel like you're losing more, when in reality you're probably just better than the average player. Hey, thanks, Tell Talk Tuk Tak Tick Tok Ticks. What the fuck? Tell Talk Tuk Tak Tok Ticks. Thank you. Alright, what am I doing now? Spoke to the lady. Uh, speak to Scribe Halen. Shit. Alright, I can do that. It's not too far out of the way. <sighs> Australian flo servers are also flooded with cheaters. Yeah, because that's the only server that the average person cheating can play on. Because, depending on the game you play, the average person cheating is probably from China. Have you tried playing Tarkov lately? <laughs> That being said, I've been, I've been, I have been playing Tarkov lately, and I just don't play it seriously anymore. Uh, and it's more fun that way. <sighs> uh, will you ever switch to streaming on YouTube? Uh, if Twitch dies, yes. Uh, other than that, I have no plans. I have a plan of streaming on YouTube once a month, so people like you know over YouTube can see the stream and how it's like. But um. I don't feel like I'm going to switch over permanently. I really don't think I'm going to sign any exclusivity deals or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about me being like a, Oh my god, dude, he's moving to Facebook Live! I'm good. Um, I, I want to stay on Twitch as long as I can. Until the website is just like... Not fixable anymore. <laughs> but... I don't know. I feel like the community on Twitch is, is unhinged, but it's way better than what it would be on YouTube. <laughs> Why not kick? Chat. We are getting so much better. Two hours and seven minutes before somebody mentioned kick. The world is healing. It, it is. It is healing. It is becoming. It is becoming a better, better place. I'm very happy. Uh, we did a good job. You guys did great. You know what? Honestly, I feel like it's really good because. That one person that mentioned kick, uh, well, it was two people, but the first person to mention kick was a new time chatter. So, you know, it's fair that they bring it up. It's fair. You know, that's totally fine. So, good job, chat. Good, good on you. Anyways, uh, we gotta go do some Brotherhood of Steel stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm running over towards the Glowing Sea. There is one mission I need to do. I have to t speak to a Brotherhood of Steel, like, captain lady, and then she directs me towards the pyramid bu building. <sighs> Continue as you're doing right now. Good luck with the run stream. Thanks, YouTube algorithm. Yeah, that's- I mean, I- I don't feel like changing up what we're doing. Because I- I really enjoy... What we have going right now. I don't want to mess it up. 
And I feel like if I completely switch streaming platform, there's a chance I could fuck up. Uh, and for people who are actually curious why I don't want to go on kick, I just don't like the idea of being on a platform that has... That allows people with bad opinions. <laughs> but mostly very bad opinions. Because, like, I don't mind if someone's got a different political opinion to me. I mean, that's the thing I've always not cared about. Political opinions, all that stuff, whatever, right? But, um... That sounds so bad. Yeah, well... I don't care. You guys know what I mean. I don't really care anymore. I'm, I'm sick of... Oh, chat, it's because of the intricacies of the kick layout. No, it's because... Kick is literally the fringe version of Twitch. And I have no interest in it. It, uh, the thing is, I feel like Kick could have been Kick could have actually replaced Twitch. I genuinely feel like Kick could have been Twitch, like a new era for like live streaming content if they didn't have the whole like because their mindset going into it was uh, no rules. <sighs> no rules is always a bad idea. It just is because no rules means okay, well, <laughs> prepare to have like literally everything on your platform. Because, like, isn't Train one of the biggest advocates for Kick, right? He is, right? Didn't Ken... Ken? Well, like, WWE? Didn't Train go through, like, an era of, like... In fact, didn't he start getting famous on Twitch because he was very, like, anti-booby streamer? But now if you go to Kick, every... Like, most of the streams on Kick are booby streamers. Huh. Interesting. Why is it 42 hours? Because that's how long we spent on this challenge. Who the fuck is Train? Yeah, I realize most people aren't going to be aware of <laughs> Twitch drama in my chat. That's fine. Okay, 79 in this way. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've known... I mean, you know, I've been around Twitch long enough to follow all the drama and shit. We're here for you and no one else? That's cringe, don't say that. Please. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I was just thinking about this car. I was, you know, just gonna fucking... Can I squish myself? There's just a car here. What do I do with it? Okay, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna see. One sec, let me see what you said. Do we need to shoot spoilers in sight and chat when we play Starfield? Uh, nah, not really. I really don't really- I genuinely don't care for the story. Actually, yeah, because of people in chat, never mind. Yeah, you should. Yeah, yeah, please do. I Not for me, but for more for the average chat. Because I feel like most people are going to be playing the game while watching me play it. And if they peek over at chat and get a spoiler, that might ruin someone's day, so... Jabbo, you missed me so much, you messaged me on Discord saying you were going to stream. I don't think there's a single person I would do that for. <laughs> but yeah, sure, dude, go off. You didn't time him out! Oh, is he like a crazy stalker or something? Maybe he was gonna turn up at my house like that one Estonian guy did to Amaranth. Hello! I'm here! Talk to me! Excuse me, scribe Halen. It's good to see you again. Is it a rule? <laughs> Thanks, Halen. I assume the place is still... You know what? I'm gonna spoil Starfield for you guys. So far, we've been able to keep them from overrunning us. Thanks to the reinforcements there and is... the support, I'd say that site was secure. There is, in Starfield, space. That's... I... Right. Anyway, I... I... We... Sure. When you... Hmm? And you can have sex with a bear. Doesn't sound too difficult. Uh, no. no, that's... Look, Baldur's good. 
You know, I kind of worry about Baldur's Gate 3 a bit. Because I've only found, like, a couple of channels that have been doing Baldur's Gate 3 content. When I feel like there's a huge, huge hole for Baldur's Gate 3 content right now. There was one channel I found that had, like, 10k view, uh, subs, and they were getting, like, 200k, like, views a video. I was like, dude, good for you, you know? Good for you, man. No one wants spoilers for the game. Yeah, but most videos coming out are like orientated around Act One, and I feel like most people are done with Act One now. Everyone is busy playing it rather than watching it. Yeah. For some reason, I don't think it's gonna be the same as Starfield. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of people like that, but most people are gonna be aware that this is like a, you know, Starfield is less. I don't know how to word it, but um, you know, you you can play that game and know know the story, kind of. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I don't really care for the story in some games uh, that are more sandboxy, because I care just about the sandbox element. But maybe people are different. Yeah, I'm gonna shut the fuck up, and pop some radix and some radaways, and then run over to where I need to be. Actually, fun fact is, um, you know Tuka who does the thumbnail artwork? Because she did so much uh, lately with the whole Mega Month and the profile picture change and stuff like that, uh, I gave her a bonus and I got her basically Baldur's Gate free. Because <laughs> she, she was talking about how she wanted it on PS5. And then I was like, oh, you know what? I'll just chuck it. I'll chuck in an extra like 60 euros because, you know. My wife's boyfriend said I can come back to chat. Nice. Far where is this? Fucking hell, it's so far. Thank God we went too far south when we crossed the glowing sea the first time. Sit there with your pincer or whatever the fuck above ground. I'm gonna shoot it, bro. Why am I British? Um, long story short, in 1776, when the Americans first won their uh, independence. Both my great 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 granddad and my great 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 grandma were both living in Pennsylvania, United States of America. They were sat there one day thinking to themselves, what do we do with our lives, huh? Do we continue living in America, the land of the free? But, you know, we like drinking tea. What if we get alienated for drinking tea? And then my dad, because obviously he was from the UK, my great 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 granddad, whatever, he was like, well, I do say, I own a property in Kent. Let's move down there. And then they lost all of their money. And now they became homeless. You guys are like, wow, let's celebrate the 4th of July, bro. <laughs> yeah, let's celebrate the 4th of July. When Jabbo's entire fucking family became fucking poor, man. <sighs> you think it's funny? Actually, it kind of is. Never mind. <laughs> I'm a KGB agent. Okay, question. Genuinely, what's a PSYOP? Because people keep calling me that. <laughs> Does anyone know what that is? The KGB doesn't exist anymore? Oh, yes it does. Yes it fucking does. It's just a different name now. They just don't call it the KGB. They call it the... Wagner Anti-Interrogation Group. With anti-air guns that might shoot down your airplane. Or oh, something like that. Too soon? I don't know, they're both horrible people. Fuck both of them. Hello? You him? <laughs> yeah, if I tried to shoot down that airplane, I would have missed. 
All right, I think we can start tiling in this direction because I think from here on out we had nothing but westward, right? Yeah, this is probably the closest we're gonna get. All right, let's start from down here then. You can hit both sides in the conflict. I mean, that wasn't even both sides. What do you mean? That was literally a military, a private military group fighting with the state of Russia and then giving up almost immediately. And then shit hitting the fan like it, we all knew it would. I fell off a tile? Clip it. You have to clip it and chip it. Wagner's French? <laughs> no, he's not. Rag Wagner's not French. Because <laughs> they surrendered. Oh, you made a joke. Okay. They're dead now. You can't say that, Rickstan. That's kind of fucked up, dude. People died. What the fuck, man? Give me this shit. Wagner from X Factor? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Stop. You guys know there's a way to do minute rotations? You pick up the item, you do left and right click to spin it. Fuck you, man. And then if you highlight over the object and just click left, you can spin it slightly. Like that. But if you pick it up, you can spin it fast. And then you can do it slowly. I have turtle fingers? What <laughs> the fuck are turtle fingers? I do have very thick hands. I don't know why. I kind of My hands kind of look like, um, because of how small I am, my hands look big in proportion to me, like me as a person. Um, and because of that, uh, I kind of look like that one, you know that one arm wrestling champion, champion that has like big hands, but they look kind of like small on him. I kind of look like him. <laughs> you gotta, dude, you should get your health checked. Your fingers are kind of thick. I'm not that thick. Thick? They're normal hands. I don't have like Prince Charles or whatever his name is hands. I just have fat hands. I feel like people in chat have fatter hands than me. Shut up. Yeah, my hands just look big because I'm like five foot seven. <laughs> the camera adds ten pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that too. Right. You know salad fingers? Wow. Oh my god. I want to rotate this this way. Yes. Five foot seven's a bit generous. Well, I would say I'm five seven five eight. No. But we all know that you can't be two heights, so. <laughs> I'm 5'7". If someone ever says to you, I'm 4 foot 7, 4 foot 8, they're 4 foot 7, right? You, you know that. And you also know not to press them about it, right chat? Jabba, the exit tower, it needs tiles. I'm pretty sure you can exit the same place you came in. Should be fine. Oh my god! Can you do me a favor? I need water. Why? I right, take this with you. You're talking to the chat while you get me water. Yes, you are. Put it on. Put it on. No? Oh. You sure you don't want to take the mic? Hi, Jobbo. Can Hi. you please ask Crickstar15 when he will give us his top 13 games list? No. Because I don't know if you're being mean to him or not. Leave my man Rick Stan alone, he's my best friend. Unless he is, unless you're joking and you're good friends with him, then aha, Rick Stan, make the top 13 game list, man. What are you doing? Can I make this jump? Uh! <laughs> I'm alive. It's fine. You made a normal pick of me in Discord again? You ass 
What are you saying? I can't hear you because I'm fighting. What'd you say? Why are you throwing tissues on the floor? What tissues? <laughs> show me. Show me the tissues. Come on. Hey, show. That's not tissue. It's toilet roll. Get it right. It's not toilet roll. It's tissue. Uh, I don't know. I, I must have blew my nose and just threw it. Um, I can explain, Chad. Uh, I did actually leave tissues on the floor. It, I was thinking extra flavor, you know? But whatever. Holy shit, why is there like 50 of them? <laughs> I swear to god, there's usually not this many of them. What the fuck? Is it a salty flavor? The flavor? Uh, it was- I did- okay, I've, I've got like a semi-cold. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Okay? I was just blowing my nose and throwing it towards my bin. And then it was just not landing. Oh my god. That's really good. It's a shame I can't use it. Because... We're not doing DLCs. Damn. Look at this. Yeah, I don't ha I can't get the ammo for it, so it's useless. Unfortunate. That's kind of cool too. 50% more damage is mad. Where do you find that ammo? I'm pretty sure it's Point Lookout. Far Harbor. <laughs> Same fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Far Harbor, right? Yeah, lever action- I thought the lever actions were so underwhelming in Far Harbor. Um, honest to god. I thought lever actions would be like dangerous type. And like, oh my god, this thing's gonna like one tap. You know, I'm gonna say it. I feel like the DLCs of Fallout 4 didn't actually add as much as I would have liked. They did add quite a lot, and they did a good job. The, I, I, the two two main DLCs were pretty good, but I just feel like I don't know, just just a little bit more. Nuka World added a lot. It did. Yeah. To be fair, I can't be mean to Nuka World. That's why I think I prefer Nuka World over Far Harbor. Is I just feel like Nuka World actually had more to offer. But the problem with Nuka World is half of the, the story is based around settlement building. Nobody gives a fuck about settlement building. That's the one thing they missed with this game. Is they thought everyone cared about settlement building when 90% of people didn't. So when they build free DLCs, half of the game's mechanics, and then, you know, some of the fucking DLCs themselves around settlement building. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. I care. Oh my god. Uh, okay, there's a 50-50, right? Half you guys care, half you guys don't. You're still only making and developing a system that is going to be used by half your player base. That being said, what I will say is I think Fallout 4 was the first time that they properly tested it. Like, obviously they had it in the Skyrim DLC, right? They had the Skyrim DLC of constructing the house. That was the first real test. People loved that shit. Fallout 4 was like, okay, now we're going to bring out our own system. Does this work? Yes, it does. Well, where are they going to go from there, Chet? It's only going to go up, right? Surely it only gets better with the next release. I mean, I couldn't tell you. Because I signed an NDA. But what I will tell you is that, you know, progress only goes upwards, right? What's up, Matt? How you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Are you saying that it's bad? From uh, the Xbox showcase event that I watched, the one hour and excess of Starfield gameplay that they showed off, I would say that they might have improved the system from Fallout 4. I couldn't say, personally. But from just watching the showcase, I would say that. Um... That being said, I'm still, you know, I can't talk to you guys about the current status, but... This is, this is what pisses me off. I... Before I got review copy, I was talking about Starfield non-stop. Oh, I wish they had put this in the game. Why can I not continue to do that, but just not talk about anything that's in the game? Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. State your purpose, stranger. My purpose is... This? That is my purpose. Goodbye. Yahoo!
<laughs> Thank you, Zav, for the ten moves. We don't want a lawsuit. Bro got three hundred and sixty no scoped. You guys do realize I am being very, very careful about my jokes. You know that, right? We're good. Don't worry. I'm not stupid. I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> ah, shit. Is that Pete Hines in my chat? Is he gonna get me? Oh, he's gonna shut me down. Um. Oh, you guys don't. Oh. Oh my god. I don't even. When? Ooh. I need. A, I need to message someone after this stream. What do you think of New Vegas elitists? Uh, what people that think New Vegas is the best Fallout game? That's fine. It is the best Fallout game. What do I think of people who think New Vegas is so good that you shouldn't play any other game? I think they're a bunch of losers. The same as if you have an elitist for any game in the series. Um, you should be able to play whatever game you want. Like, go play 76. Go play Fallout 4. Go play Shelter. Go play Fallout 3. If you're a fan of Fallout, that's cool by me. New Vegas might be good and great. But really, when it comes down to it, there's a lot of hate. For a game that came out so long ago, that game was great. For sure. <laughs> but when you take it back and give it a peel, it's not as good as the game known as Star... We have done it, chat. We are out of this facility. I'm gonna go out the same way I came in. Uh, I believe there's a way to do it. It's this way, yes. Yeah, there's, there's like an elevator that takes you to the top. But uh, we don't want a tile, so we're good. What are you doing? Can you, do, do you have a problem? Are you all right? Go start a fight. You guys want, uh, do you guys want um, you know when they, like, mic up the referees? What if they mic'd up, like, the fighter, you know? You guys know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it, I've had enough of you. <laughs> oh, fuck oh, off. Get out of my room! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> fuck off! No! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Get off! <laughs> 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 Don't worry about it, chat. She, uh, she, she didn't stand the chance. All right, moving on. She actually really hurt my finger, by the way. I just want you guys to know that. <laughs> you feel like a man. When you push her around. Alright, we're out of here. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty now. I'm turning on my AC. Oh my god. Was that a reference? Yeah, that was a reference to like a song. Did you time him out? <laughs> you timed him out! Oh, dude, my mods, man. You got... Okay, my AC tube is falling out. I'll be back in a second. Dude, oh. Two seconds, Trent. Just gotta fix this. Alright, we're good. Alright, sorry. I have to... Sometimes my AC doesn't really... Operate properly and it like the pipe just you know like the AC exhaust pipe It just like falls out the window sometimes and just falls back into the room And then when that happens my room just gets hotter because it's just pumping hot air into my room So I have to like you know AC in Britain is so posh um, Yes, but they're also not that expensive and most people are working from home so I can't recommend them more, than, more enough. Like, 
The thing is, if you're working from home, which is what I do, right? And you're in the middle of, like, summer heat, and it's hot as shit in our houses, because, like, brick and stuff. Get an AC. They're, like, 300 pounds. They're not that expensive. 300 quid for something that's going to make your life so much easier. Dr. Ingram? People spend more and less. They're going to do the trick. That was a good find. I'll you work know? with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs... It well, we I skipping dialogue. You're wearing long sleeves? <laughs> Move out the way so I can press the button, bro! Are you kidding? Ingram? Treat your power armor well, and it can get you through anything. Liberty Prime! Back! Forklifts are widely used to improve the efficiency of logistical distribution systems. However, this convenient transporting machine may be the cause of serious accidents or casualties if used incorrectly. In order to prevent accidents and or casualties, basic operation of the counterbalance forklift is explained in this video. Before starting any operation with a forklift, ensure the forks are in the proper safe position in accordance with the load or type of pallet to be handled. The recommended width between the forks is one half to three fourths of the width of the pallet. When adjusting the position of the forks, place them symmetrically to the Is it over? Is it done? Sorry, that civil it's like a minute long and I don't like sitting down and listening to it. Especially when we've got a cutscene, man. Let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command. Accepted. Do you think do you guys think Liberty Prime's a simp? He needs to adjust to his new configuration. It's like sus Voice about him. Module. I don't know. Online. Audio functionality test. He got his legs back. Initialized. I'm just the most useless member of society. Designation. Liberty Prime. Mark two. two. I gotta Mission. close my door. The liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets. Any and all red Chinese invaders. Meow. System analysis and battle readiness check. Liberty Prime. Full system analysis. All systems. Nominal. I don't think I have anything Weapons. to talk for you guys. Hot. Are you saying Warning. Liberty Prime's a robot? Nuclear yes. Weapon payload depleted. Reload required. We don't need to give him mini nukes, Warning. right? Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart. Recommended. <laughs> Look at the tiles! Do you guys see them? Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. Holy shit, this thing's whole this thing's all decked out. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Is it weird to think that the Stalker series is a bit more fucked up bit more in-depth and fucked up law than Fallout series? Um, I would say you're wrong if you're talking about the entire series, because the first two Fallout games are pretty fucked up. Um, they have some really, like, weird niches and fucked up things in, in them. But if you if you mean outside of the first two, and then just comparing the 3D games, I would agree. Yes, but that's because stock is a bit more adult in nature. Fallout has this very weird vibe to it. It's, like, a very seriously depressing environment, but it has, like, this fun overtone to it. So, Chabo, you have a promise to keep? Hey Jobbo, this is going to be my last sub renewal for a while. I'm going to college, and money no. will be tight. No. Just short of one year, two Saj keep up the great work. 
Give me a trica. Oh yeah, didn't I, I say? You a sub. Didn't I say I was gonna gift you Why subs? Why can't I gift you like a one yes sub? Never mind. I'll gift you a one yes sub when it runs out. How do I gift Enjoy one yes college, subs? man? I can gift can you be quite a unique experience. All right, fuck off. I'm gifting you six months. It's the best I can do. As a long-term viewer of my chat, go crazy. Excuse me. Okay, I don't think she can walk over to this. You good? Oh, I can step off a tile now. I technically already gifted this. I can do six steps off the tile. I gifted six sum subs. Mums, technically. Look at this, chat. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Yeah, I bet Settled wouldn't do that in his videos, would, would he? Yeah. <laughs> Is she fine now? Glad to see you returned safely from the Institute, brother. Are you fixed? The Bronk. You didn't gift sub six subs, you gifted one. It was six months of tier one. That's six months. I feel like you're tryharding. Okay, I'll, I'll fix that. Give me a second. <laughs> Yo, what up, chat? <sighs> I feel like this is what streamers turn out like if they do like too much streaming, you know, like, oh, hey guys, welcome to my 24 hour stream. We're going to do some incredible stuff when Starfield comes out. And then this is like half the stream, <laughs> just them doing this. <sighs> Thanks for the money. Jobbo sleeper. I'm going to start saying that to every sub now. Thanks for the <laughs> Just tilt the cam forward. I can't. It's on a static. I've got it on a thing. It can't move. Where did the anime display go? You know what? I kind of hate this fucking dog. Anyone else just hate this dog? I fucking hate him. He's pissing me off, man. It's even, it even comes with like a fake shadow. You see that? It's not real. It's bent? No, it's not. It's just a bit flexible. These splits are meant to be flexible, man. That's the whole point. Look. Oh, what if I want to free up space, you know? Like. <laughs> I think it's broke. I think we should use this one. Hey guys, which which do you prefer? Or
You don't want this? You <sighs> okay, we don't like the duck one either, do you? Can I replace the duck one? You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys ever, you, you guys ever heard of uh, Ken from WWE? Ben Pine knows what I'm talking about. We got one of Ken. You know, The Undertaker's brother from wrestling? Anyways. Let's get back to it, boys. Uh, we have uh, some missions to hand in. Is it just gonna focus on Johnny now? Wait, is it? It's not! It's not doing it. It's not focusing on <laughs> Yo! Caspacito! Caspacito! Na 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 Thanks for the radio. 39 viewers. That's quite a lot, bro. I really appreciate you rating my channel, though. Caspacito. Why did the di lighting get darker and lighter? Because, um... I should really stop reading chat. <laughs> you hate him? What, do you not like jo Do you want me to replace it again? Oh my god, man, you guys are so needy! He's back. You happy? So I told you guys I had a, like a YouTube partner rep meeting, right? I don't know if people were here yesterday or the day before, but um, in that YouTube partner rep meeting, the woman at the end who I was talking to, she was really nice. And she was like, oh, by the way, I just wanted to say before we end the call, um, I really like your dog. She was talking about Walter. I'm not even kidding. At the end of the meeting, she brought him up. And I had to tell her that he was a meme. And that my chat had to pick him. It was so funny. I actually, like... I Usually, with my meetings, I record them. So I would have had proof. And asked her and all that stuff. But YouTube is, like, one of the few companies that don't let you. So... Excuse me. Proctor Ingram. Well, I have to admit... Wasn't sure we'd be able with him on our side. Ooh. I don't see how the institute flicked my mic. This wasn't necessary, Ingram. <sighs> Besides, huh? any mm -hmm. elder man. Yeah, don't forget what you stand for, boys. We stand for Walter. All right, Liberty's primed. Oh my God, my voice. You guys, hear that? <laughs> oh my God. You know when like you get bubble stuck in your throat? Okay. Forty-six. We're picking um, rifleman to five. 47 should be bloody mess. Yes. We'll take red resistance for now. We can get four, but it's not really useful. I don't think we need much. Did you record the YouTube Discord work meetings? No, I don't record those. I have a very specific reason for not recording those, and that's because they're really, really cringe. <laughs> Our little meetings where we get... Wait, what type of meetings are you talking about? Are you talking about the ones that me, you, and Chase have? Because they're not meetings. Have you watched Better Call Saul? No. I I I don't like watching things. I'm I'm kind of weird. I don't like watching um stuff that like a lot of people overhype. It's not even a contrarian thing. It's just like a it's just like a annoying fan base thing. And Better Call Saul has like one of the most annoying fan bases right now. Holy shit. So no, instead, I'm watching House. Tell me night. And I also just not finished watching all. Parks and Rec too. To it's pretty I'd good. Find uh, Proctor, right. A portion of it. Uh, Paladin. Sure. That's impossible. And Shit's Creek. Mm -hmm. the uh, to make matter. Uh, I'm Shit's Creek is a bit. Me, 
You never told Touch me. and go. Just, it's got some good moments. You have to believe me. You never told me. After everything I've done for the Brotherhood. Hmm. House is, has an annoying I fan base. Yeah, but House's fan base are like 40, dude. But they don't pay, they don't post on like Twitter and YouTube and Twitch. They're on like Facebook. They're on the MSN marketplace. Dude, they're talking in the RuneScape trade chat. Okay, I don't have to worry about them. You know, I, 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 oh, I want to watch some Rick and Morty. Boom. You know, I, I, you know, it's, it's one of those things. My phone picks up that I'm list watching Rick and Morty, right? It picks it up and it's like starts recommending me Rick and Morty shit on like every Attention website that I go on. Research patrols are a crucial facet of That's our the difference. <laughs> the Dr. Quinlan. Oh, night. Any Brotherhood soldiers that have not received a yes, I have so friendly. I have. Will be missed. Doubtful. I would. I would. Sure. I've been. I think you. I've seen rape loads of on reels for House on Facebook and Instagram. What the hell is this? I is yeah, I was. I was. I'm watching the first season, and I've seen most of the first season from just clips on YouTube. I'll take anything that gets me closer to finding death. Yes, uh, you're gonna have to narrate that cutscene now. Long live the tiles. I can narrate it like this. All right, so for anyone who's uh, confused as to what's happening, Paladin Dance uh, is a synth, and we have to go like talk to him and you know discuss things with him. Uh, basically, it's insider knowledge, and everyone's finding out now. And uh, we didn't know he was a synth, so we have to go track him down. Yeah, fuck you, Benpai. I, I ain't doing any post commentary. You can edit that in. <laughs> Can she make her way there? Dude, who the Wait fuck is this? Could do you Halen? So, are you ready to take on your first? Ready. Great. One of the Brotherhood's most mm -hmm. I have a list What of is she talking here. about? Good luck. Why are you giving me a mission? Wait. You're supposed to be talking to me about Paladin Dance. You're Andrew, thank you for the raid. Uh Andrew, you don't get a raid song. What you do get is you get uh, me. My name is Morden Freeman, and I am here to say that Andrew of the Ops is one of the best Twitch streamers on Twitch.television. There you go, bro. Scribe. This way. Let's go then. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Am I gonna kill Baladin Dance or let him alive, like live? What do you this guys way. think? I am this way. Scribe Halen. This way. Oh my god. Do you actually plan on killing Paladin? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, if anybody question. raids me, right. I'm gonna ignore it. That's a bold. Statement. Even if it's like it's a five thousand viewer dance. raid, I'm gonna ignore it. Uh huh. Because All right, I'll hear <laughs> now. People are gonna start doing that thing that they do where they don't even go live. They just go over to the Twitch channel, type slash raid, and then just like, oh, dude, I raided you. Say, say, thank you, man. Is this gonna be on YouTube? Um, no. This specific moment in the stream, no. Uh, Benpai, I want you to cut out from 42.58 to 42, 43 hours in the VOD. And uh, don't tell anyone about it. Turn him into a tile? True. Yo, Turbo Virgin 42069, stop saying Turbo Virgin. Are you trying to be the new lemon guy? <laughs> Dude, all of your messages are just Turbo Virgin. What the fuck is this? What is this, dude? <laughs> He's the new lemon guy. Yeah, go on, dude. He's gonna say it again, I can't wait. Oh, look at that, bro. Look at look at the people raiding now, huh? Yeah, nice raid, dumbass. One viewer, pff, pathetic. <laughs> yeah, how about you go get some chatters? Awesome. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, wow, thank you for the one viewer raid, dude. I wanna sound as condescending. Oh my god. Are you serious? I have to go all this way to Paladin Dance? Don't be rude. Jabba, this is no laughing matter. Yo, cheers. Thank you for the tier one. You know, I felt like we needed more Fallout subalerts. So if anyone has any that are DMCA free, send them to me. Thank you. Why do I have a gray pit boy? Uh, I prefer my overlay to be white. Nice white. 
I've never used anything else. I did used to use blue in Fallout 3, because I thought it looked nice. But then I awoken from my dreams. A new man. I didn't step off the tile. Thank God for that. These rotated upwards. Um, oh, is, this... is the ground going down there? I can't. The ground is going down there, right? Yeah, okay, uh, sorry, perspective just fucked me up. I'm um, to the balls in your jaw, subalert. Uh, they started getting DMs here. Yeah, I used to love those subalerts too, but the guy who made the song started uh, copyright claiming them. Oh, someone was. So we had to stop using them. It's usually how it goes, you know. Someone has their moment of fame and then they lose it and then they want to maintain it as much as they can. Which is fair. I respect it. Just sucks for us. Oh, he's not a cook. It's his content. He's allowed to DMC it if he wants. We didn't get in trouble for it, so it's fine. I don't know. You know, one area of the map of Fallout 4 I've never really explored is this kind of like... Not really... Is it? It's not really a peninsula, right? Like this kind of like area here. And this area here too. I guess like this bit here. Because I've explored up here, and all, obviously we've done all this bit, and this, and everyone does the bottom eventually. It's like Eastern Cambridge. I've never really explored. I've only done, you know, I've only done, this might be shocking actually, I've only done the, uh, the pirate quest in this game once. You know that, right? Because I feel like everyone likes that quest, but like no one does it. Spooky mines in that area. Ooh. Did you play Fallout 4 Guesser? I would be good at that. I We have played it too. I'm pretty decent at it. If there was a Fallout 3 Geo Guesser, I would abs- and Fallout New Vegas, I would eat ass. Because they're like the two games I uh, pretty much put the most like attentive hours into. A lot of Fallout 4's challenge run stuff, so it's not the same. You want me to kill Dance? All right, you guys have voted on the poll. 64% of 100 users who participate. Only 100? You guys don't give a fuck. All right, Dance is dead. The poll results are in. My chat is horrible. The pirate quest is so mid. I actually like it. I just never do it. Should I do it in this playthrough? You know what? I'll do it before I finish the... Uh, you know what? Deal, I'll do it. Before we finish the game, if I have enough time. That was a fake poll. What do you mean? It didn't get a poll. That was a poll. The super chat thing blocks the poll? Wait, so you're telling me the one guy who donated one dollar just blocked everyone's chance of getting in that poll? Oh, that's great. Do it again then. Mods, do another poll. But give it two minutes. How much longer till you beat the game? Uh, we're pretty much in late game now. We're about to go kill Dance. Uh, so as the Brotherhood of Steel, that's like very close to end game, I would say. I can't actually remember. It's been a while since I've done the Brotherhood of Steel ending. So I'd say we're probably like... depends. It depends. Like in a normal playthrough, we would not be that far off <laughs> at all. But this isn't really a normal playthrough, is it? So... Do, 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 do. All right, there, chat, there's your poll, okay? Don't let Joseph TV with his 140 Canadian dollars block you from voting in that poll. That is voter suppression, okay? You guys know about voter suppression? That's a thing. You guys are being oppressed right now by Joseph TV. What happens if we 50 50? I'll suck his dick. <laughs> if it 50 50s, I'll download some CBBE mods and I'll get down and dirty with Mr. Dance. Is that fair? You guys want that? No, I think this is tile thing makes the game easier. You could build bridges to walk across rivers and shortcuts out of the Pridwin. Just pretending like this is hard. I could swim this in like two seconds. You know that, right? Like, this isn't, like... Okay. 
It, it, a normal playthrough of this game would take me like five hours to beat. You know that, right? Like max. <laughs> if I did a standard play, you know, fuck it. I'll do. I'll do a glitchless Fallout 4 playthrough at some point, like a speedrun, survival glitchless speedrun, and I'll get it done in two hours and a half ish or whatever the my PB is. Trust me. This game is a lot easier when you don't have restrictions on it. Also, we are playing on very hard. Don't vote. It's 50 50 No, it has to be bang on 50-50, by the way. It can't be it can't be percentage based. It has to be like the exact same number. You guys never get 50-50s, because everyone always holds their vote till the end. And then they all dump it at the same time, trying to fix it. You guys always fuck it up. You ne you're never going to get a 50-50. Look, I'll even show you. Look, look. You are not going to 50-50 this. You can try. You can try all you want. Go on. Work, and work together in unison. Go on, chat. You got this. Oh, hey, hey. We need four more votes on Dance Lives. We need two more votes on Dance Lives. Stat. One more on Dance Lives. That's it. Everyone, nobody vote. Watch this. We're gonna, we're gonna get hit with perfect 50-50. Watch. It's gonna happen. Oh, look at that. It's gonna happen. I'll just sip my tea while I wait. Oh, I'm sure this is gonna 50-50. <laughs> okay. Oh, but it's only one or two votes in it. Wait till the end, okay? We're not even at the end yet. We've got like five seconds left of some shit, right? Wait till you see what happens. It goes mental. Oh, look at that. You were one... Okay, that was really close. Don't you guys ever, ever scare me like that again, okay? At least he gets to live. <sighs> God, that actually got me worried for a second. I don't want to suck Dance's cock. I don't want to do anything like that. Yeah, I wish we could find out who threw. <laughs> like, who was it, you know, in chat that did that? Ah, well, it says in the record here that the last vote was done by, uh, a, uh, Mr. Goofy Lollipop. Don't know about that, chat. I don't know who that is, but there's your culprit. It was Goofy. You know, I can do a very good Goofy impression, but I can only do it when I don't feel the pressure to do it. And I was going to do it just then, but then the pre- you know, you know, like, it got worse and worse. With my money, I want Dance Dead Poggers, plus he'll make it 50-50. Doesn't work like that, but thank you for the five quid. I'm sorry. I- I will prioritize my chat's vote over your money, but thank you so much for the five pounds. It will be going towards the McDonald's fund. Appreciate it. We should ban Goofy Lollipop. I like how everyone in chat just turned on him, despite the fact that I literally just made that up. You guys are the worst. You know that, right? Like, oh yeah, chat. Uh, Kagirik in chat right there. Um... If you guys don't know about him, uh, he's the reason why I haven't streamed over, like, the last five days. Uh, he basically told me if I streamed, he would, uh, be mean to my Twitch chat. Huh? Kigirik is a girl? What the fuck are you doing in my chat? <laughs> Wait, why play the sad music now? Alright, we have to do something sad. I'm sorry, Kagirik. We have a very st strict policy here. Um, I'm sorry. I can't tell you why. Alright, can somebody unbanner again? Because I don't know how to do it. Please. Um, just like, I think Lucy or whatever was in the chat earlier, she hasn't came back. <laughs> we, we banned her and she didn't come back. God, no. <laughs> We're getting cancelled in real time. Right, I'm taking my tiles with me and you guys can't stop me. Yeah, some, by the way, for people that don't know why I'm doing this, um... Sometimes uh, the, the the tiles don't let you place them down. Like the tile system breaks. You gotta you gotta mass pl place the tiles and then bring them over here. You know. 
Sorry, I was just trying not to laugh at this fucking subalert. You're real billion. Thank you so much for the gift sub to Kiguru. Why am I cyberbullying girls? Why do you why 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 are you gonna make this about gender, dude? Just because the two people that I banned today were partnered girls in my chat. Yeah, well maybe there's a correlation, but I bet you have green tiles in your bathroom. Ew. I feel like the only place you can have green tiles would be a, a kitchen. Right? Green's kind of a very strong color. You can't really have that in a bathroom. A bathroom has to be, like, neutral. Maybe. Oh, my, like a hospital? I still can't place down tiles. What is this world coming to? <sighs> That's legit the first time I've been banned on Twitch. I'm on the wrong screen! There's no timer! How long have I been in that screen for? I hate when you do that. Yeah, I know because I know how you do the whole like camera system, right? You, you basically set it up as two different layers. And you crop one of them around the other. And you probably have to go around and fuck around with that now. Thanks. <sighs> you know, that's chat's fault, okay? I can't keep on top of everything. I'm... What, okay, you guys, like, our oh, streamers are stupid. We have to micromanage, like, two things. Do you know how hard that is? You are being banned on Twitch? Would it be from someone's chat? Or do you mean, like, banned as in, like, creator banned? Because I've never been creator banned. But if you mean, like from a creator's chat. One of my favorite creators uh, banned me from the chat and called me annoying. <laughs> because I posted one copy pasta while the entire chat was posting copy pastas. I don't get it. Everyone in the chat was posting copy pastas. Everyone. And I posted one. It was like, twist my stem, slap my butt, call me your little pumpkin slut. And he fucking timed me out for 10 minutes and called me annoying. So yeah, <laughs> you know, that that's pretty heartbreaking. I feel like that's how someone would feel in this chat as well. <laughs> Is that how you guys feel when I go, oh, fuck this guy and time him out for 10 minutes? <laughs> ah, shit. Maybe I'm a bad person, dude. Yeah? Ah, uh, fuck. Seems like pretty arbitrary, just like we were earlier. You know, it was, you know, the thing that I. I kind of noticed is it was the first time I had ever typed in someone's chat after I got partner to. So, um, it kind of hurt, right? It stung a bit. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm partner. Let me, I can type in someone's chat that might recognize me. Yay. Like, finally, I have the little badge that says that I'm like worthwhile talking to. And then, uh, and then I got told off, right? It was very sad. Uh, it doesn't matter though, cause like, I'm pretty sure he got like, cancelled like, six months later. <laughs> I'm not even kidding too. Uh, so... That's cool. <laughs> so I think some of my mods might know who the person is. Um... I think some people in my chat might know, actually. I'm not gonna say it, though. I don't wanna start any pathetic drama. Beep, 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 boop, beep, 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 boop. Why not move the pile up instead of constantly... Because they're too close to this, where if I go to grab them, it's going to grab this too. Am I still banned there? No, it's only timed out for 10 minutes. Do we not get marbles on stream anymore? No, I've kind of stopped doing it. I'm, I'm trying to find an alternative to it for now. I placed tiles down yet? Nope. Okay. Do 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 you want to say it was either Resident Evil or AoE? No, it, it was neither of those. If I told you the game that they played, you'd probably know who they were, because there was only one streamer that was big for playing that game. And it was a speedrunner. I'm not gonna- you know, fuck off, I'm not saying anything else, okay? I need to go back to get more tiles. This shit's broke. 
Was it Atrioc? <laughs> Are you guys just gonna list off people that got cancelled? Fuck off! <laughs> oh, dude. Well, I mean, was it Carla from the the CS:GO scandal? <laughs> was it Juve? Uh, I don't think Juve has the balls to ban me. <laughs> I would fight him in real life. In a sanctioned fight, in the boxing match, of course. See, like, when I grab them all like that, if it's too close to this, it'll grab the bridge, too. I would lose. I'm pretty sure I would. Juve actually has, like, a good build, and on top of that, I think he's, like, tall? He met up with, uh, one of the guys who I work with in, in like, my sponsorship agency, because he was in Chicago or some shit. And, uh, apparently he's tall, so... Would I ever ban Juve? Oh, no. Why would I, why would I ban my husband? The fuck? Viva Pinata stream when? I did stream it. It was incredibly boring. Nobody- Literally everyone left the chat within like an hour. Dude, I streamed Viva Pinata. I was so excited for that shit too. Fuck you guys. I was like, oh dude, we're gonna play Viva Pinata. And then like... Five minutes into the stream, my chat was dead. I was like, yeah, alright, never again. Fuck that. You watched? Yeah, you didn't watch hard enough. Can I build yet? I don't care how nice these tiles are. I'm literally gonna use this bridge once. I think I left that chat too. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. So supportive. Yeah, I think I was bored of that stream as well, Jabo. That's why I no longer do marbles at the start of stream, because listen, here's the thing, right? If I do marbles at the start of stream, people come in for the marbles, and then they leave. Because, oh, oh, he's playing this game. Boring. I'd rather they never came, came in the chat. Ever. Oh, I can tile again. Nice. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my chat. Maybe do marbles at the end of stream? Oh, that's a good idea! Wait, that's such a good idea! You guys have to watch the stream, because I'm going to do marbles at the end! Oh, what's that? You can't leave the stream, because you have to type exclamation mark play? Nobody's going to do that. Hey, what up, Shadow Gale? Jumbo. Yes. No. <coughs> the fuck? You know, I was playing Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. You know, the, the new, like, Jet Set Radio type game. And I feel like Two Mellow's music should be in those games. You know, the, the music that you're listening to now, it's made by a guy called Two Mellow. He does very, 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 like, Jet Set Radio vibe type music, and he- I don't think he had any of it in the game. Fake our game name? Isn't it, like, Bum Rush Cyberfunk? That's not fake. It's real. Juved indeed does not have the balls. Let me check. See gold. Some of them drop zero, so the average is like 40 gold per kill. Hey, Juve. Thank you Get for not way. banning me for four subs. You're the best. All right, I got my bearings back a bit. Husband, a man could ask for. Oh, I, I missed how someone described that that mod, Apotheosis. Have you thank you, kind sir. Hey, Juve. Thank you for not banning me for four subs. You're the best husband of- You know what? This guy gifting 25 subs just ruined my moment, man. For 13 months. I hope you're doing well, King. I'm a god. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh, 13 months. Yeah, who gives a fuck? This guy just gifted 25 subs. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, K-Mac. Whoa. Thank you for gifting 25 to the channel. Wow! <laughs> you made me forget all about Jabo's incredibly nice message. <laughs> that's my manager. Yeah, that's my manager, Jabo. 
Appreciate it. I hope you finished Tile yeah, Man today. Uh, a legendary uh, challenge by a legendary feller. A time a few years back I turned to drink. Yeah, we're, we're like, we're not even close to getting this done. <laughs> there you go, Chad. If you want to go watch some Skyrim instead of this, you have my permission. Like, look at how depressing this looks. The, the gloomy, dark, like, sky, the dead trees, the overtone, like, the, the tone of just depression, right? And then you, you saw his gameplay, it looked nice and fun! <laughs> Maybe we- did I pick the wrong game? I should've just made Skyrim content, man. Whatever. I should've just fucking- should've just done Skyrim, dude. Fucking Skyrim Fallout shit. Uh. More tiles, woo! Dude, the green. I, 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 I'm gonna see green in my sleep. If I'm to the Fallout Friday emote. I don't know. Oh, oh, this song's a banger. Yeah, that emote works. It's there. What do you mean by seeing green? The tiles? The green? During the day, though, they're very, like, neon green. Oh, I can't tile here. Red. I can't even tile, like, here. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like that's what I'll do. I'll start seeing like, I'll start seeing things that are the same color as this green and I'll start like freaking out. <laughs> Having like a PTSD moment or something. Might have something to do with the five second rule of settlements. It is. It's because I'm exiting uh, settlement areas and the game doesn't like it. Oh great, I can start tiling them here again. There's literally just like that small window. Yeah. The tiles are getting louder? They actually feel like they are. What the fuck? Where's he going? Paladin dance. We gotta go show him a lesson, bro. Oh, we're so close, man. Oh, we're so close, bro. I'm so close. I'm gonna add a new emote. I'm adding a new emote right now. Farming. Um. All right. Use this emote sparingly. Please. <laughs> Look at the little people, he's farming! Alright, chat, we gotta go back to farming, by the way, if you couldn't- If you weren't paying attention, uh, we have to... Farm. Probably one more set, I would say. Can you make cages to farm? I've had a ton of recommendations like that in YouTube comments section. Um, to that I would say, how many tile- how many- how many cages do you think I can put down in the settlement? And how efficient of a farming technique do you think it is that I have to replace every single one of those cages every time I use it, and the cages aren't guaranteed to spawn enemies, and I can only have a certain amount of them inside of a settlement, and they take a ton of resources to build. On top of that, a lot of the enemies that come out of it are very high level, so it's not really worthwhile when I could just go to a place with ghouls and get, like, 50 kills. That's your answer. Why not take the old tiles from the place you don't go? Uh, once a tile is set, I can't pick it up. Because that would be cringe. The cages do sound like a fun workaround, and they do sound like a very fun little thing to do, but we tried it in the first video and it didn't work. 
I've seen a video where a dude got like 30 raider cages and made an ally with them. Got like 30 enemies dead every time. Yeah, I mean, there's stuff I could do to automatically farm tiles. I know that. But I just don't feel like doing it. Like, I could have like a... A Skyrim-styled, like, spawner, right? Where they all spawn in, like, a, a belt, and then they all fall down and land in a cage, and I can just shoot them. And that would be a very easy workaround. But the problem with that is, um, it's just a lot of work for pretty much nothing. It's like, it's almost like, you know, sometimes, you, what is it, Occam's Razor? The simplest solution is usually the right solution? Yeah, this is like Occam's, um, holster. The, the uh, Occam's bread knife or some shit. Uh, the simplest solution is not the best solution and is probably the more difficult solution. Actually, no, the simple solution is the right option. Farming enemies. You're making it too complex. That being said, making cages was like the first thing I thought of too, so... Can't really blame someone. <laughs> Yo, Daminal. Danimal, thank you for the prime. Dude, I like the new sub alerts, man. I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna keep doing a thing where I just change them every so often. Make sure I get, like, one new sub alert every week. And then, when they get really, really stale, we just do a sub alert contest. I think that's a good plan. Thanks, Daniel. And I do appreciate the sub. Welcome to the sub club. And Rook, third. Thank you for the prime. Juve mentioned I was his manager. Yeah, I am his manager. I do manage his channel. Is there any questions you have about Juve's channel? I can answer them. Yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely his manager. I take 30% of his income from his channel. This channel challenge would be interesting in survival. Decided I will no longer be paying taxes. What are they going to do? Tax me more? Honestly, I do regret not doing this play for in survival. I think it would have been possible now, looking back. But uh, I also don't... Like, for what it's worth, I don't really feel like it's... It would make that much of a difference. Just not being able to fast travel would make this just twice as long. Is you talking about Starfield? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not his manager. I'm not. <laughs> but why would I know what he's talking about? Hello? Dogs? Bro. Yeah, I don't think it would make- I don't think survival would be worth it. The only difference it would realistically make is the early game, like, the, the first, like, five, six hours of the stream of the first VOD would be me scavenging food and water and potentially, you know, struggling quite a bit. But after that, it would just be annoying because I would just be not being able to- like, I wouldn't be able to fast travel. It would just be a lot of walking. It wouldn't really be- it wouldn't make that much of a difference. I don't think it would be that good. Personally. I did think about it, though, because putting survival at the front definitely makes it more interesting. But... Didn't really want the hassle, not gonna lie. And sometimes that's fine. Because I do... Uh, you know, most of the challenges I do are, like, incredibly fucking difficult, right? Time-wasting type shit. So I don't want to add to it. <laughs> Your fault. Thanks for the one pound. One dollar. I appreciate it, man. What's wrong with those workbenches? Uh, don't worry about about it at all. Like, don't worry about it. Jabba, when's the TikTok channel starting? I did try to make a TikTok channel. It did not go well. TikTok is a waste of time, and I left it. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this. When my YouTube channel, um... Well, not when my YouTube channel first started doing well. I think just before... I knew that was going to land right next to me. Um, and yeah, it didn't really do much. And I figured the reason why is because TikTok only works when you actually put effort into your content and don't just take your clips and re-upload them. And the problem with that is I'd be putting effort into YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok, and there's no point doing that, because TikTok doesn't generate any revenue. Or, do I want the, the average TikTok viewer? Right? The good thing about TikTok is there's a lot of people on TikTok. That's great. 
But the problem with TikTok is most people on TikTok are like 12 years old. We already have a problem with like children in this chat. <laughs> so I just use I just use YouTube Shorts. Um, and once I figured out how to upload YouTube Shorts properly. Uh, also, yeah, Benpai, I found out to put a thumbnail on a YouTube Shot, you have to upload it from your phone. <laughs> so if you if you upload YouTube Shorts from your desktop, you can't change the thumbnail. You can only do it on your phone. How dumb is that? So yeah, figure that stuff out. I have used TikTok because, you know, I'm not dumb. I'm gonna try out a new social media website, especially something around content creation, because it's my job. I hated it. I feel like, okay, this is my opinion, but TikTok is good for a lot of things. Uh, it's good if you want to grow, like, a more female oriented view of this, because, there's a, like, if you look at, like, TikTok metrics, um,. I mean, like, I remember a majority of people on TikTok are uh, women over men. It's like one of the only social media platforms for it. That and Instagram, I think. Um, so it's good if you want to grow like a female audience, which there are people that want to do that. Uh, it's also good as well if you want mass appeal or if you're selling a product. But outside of that, I don't really think it's good because the payment is shit. Oh no, don't tell them that. Well. Yes. I don't know if I can say who it is, but I was talking to someone and they were talking to me about how they don't like making videos because they get a lot of comments on YouTube that are like cringe, you know, ah, ah, men. <laughs> oh, you can't, you has been getting you know. crazy lately. Some guy just chased me with sirens on his car. Did you, uh, did you shoot at him? That's usually, dude, you gotta shoot those guys. <laughs> don't do that. But yeah, like, I know someone who does, uh, video essays. And they're, you know, a woman, and they make content. But the problem is, is when you make content on old games, or games that people are sensitive about, you know, they're sensitive. And the problem a lot of guys have is sometimes they're cunts. Uh, you know, they focus too heavy on the fact that a content creator is a woman and not the content that they're making, right? And she was talking to me about how she is posting a lot more on TikTok now because she's noticed since she started posting on TikTok that most, her, like, her viewer, like, gender thing is becoming, you know, more, less male-dominated. So, that that's fair. That's a good reason to post on TikTok. You know, that's, that's a good reason. If you're selling a product, like, let's just say you're a, a guy who makes knives, right? You make fancy knives. See, uh, then, then TikTok's great for that. Because you could just make, you could make a TikTok for each knife, which is just filming the process and cutting it up. Takes, like, barely any work. Put the commentary on, upload it to TikTok, and you just do it for every knife. And then that way, people know that you're selling a product, they know where to buy it. You're getting f millions of views, or thousands of views, but those are also potential customers. But, um... Like, I know I know people who upload on TikTok a lot. There's, there's a content creator, I'm not gonna name them, because I don't know if they <laughs> don't really know them on a personal level. But they're not, like, a big creator. But they're quite big on TikTok. They have like, they get like 600,000 to like millions of like monthly views. Which isn't big on TikTok, I'm not stupid, but it is like, you know, if you were getting that on YouTube, you'd be making quite a pretty penny. Um, and they got paid $7 for a month's work. $7. For like all those views, all that shit. So trust me when I say, uh, TikTok is a bit of a shit platform. <laughs> I mean, that's my opinion, but... When are you going to farm the perma-legendary ghoul? Uh, it turns out that the, uh, perma-legendary ghoul is only one set spawn, so you can farm it for a legendary, but if you... You can only do it by reloading the game, so. Because I know about it, because it's a pretty common... Not pretty common, but there's a few YouTube videos on it, and I saw one, like, a while back. And then I didn't... I guess I just forgot. Mmm, <laughs> ice cream, so good. What is TikTok? 
It's because TikTok has one big fund that all creators share. Yeah, I heard about that too. Apparently on TikTok, right, if you're making more than a thousand pounds, a thousand dollars a day, you can only extract a thousand dollars from your revenue sharing. Like, whatever. So, like, let's just say you got your, your dashboard and you've got, like, you know, a million dollars in there from revenue from TikTok. You can only take out a thousand dollars a day. Which usually isn't going to be a big deal for anyone. But if you're a big creator that's, like, you know, you got, like, people editing for you, you got people, you know, helping you set up stuff, you got sponsorships, you got all this shit... You know, sometimes a thousand dollars a day. I mean, it should be able to pay for everyone, but sometimes it might not, depending on the size of the channel. So, yeah. And the problem with TikTok is, is yeah, that's another problem with TikTok is uh, the moment that your algorithm stops working for you, it's fucked. You're you're dead on arrival, right? With YouTube, there's a fade off, right? So, most YouTube channels don't just die overnight. They die off over like a year or two. With TikTok, they die they die off overnight, and it's Kind of sad, actually. All right, see you later, retainers. Mmm. Mmm. Fuck yeah. Listen here, soldier. We gotta kick. We gotta kill those enemies. You see those guys? Take a shot. My name is Morgan Freeman. And I'm in the new Call of Duty Black Ops 2. <laughs> the number one Black Ops 2 streamer! You know, I was actually scared of Call of Duty Zombies when I was, like, in secondary school. I'd say about, like, 13. My friend, um... No, no, I was not 13. About 12. Because, like, I think World at War was out. Or Black Ops 1 just came out. And... I couldn't... I remember World at War. I found, I found the zombie scary in that, but I would always play it with my, like, brothers and stuff, so I'd be fine. But then when... By the time Black Ops 1 came out, I, I had my own Xbox. And I was always scared to play it. <laughs> it was always the- it was only the World of War zombies, though. When I played Black Ops 1, it was fine. When it was Black Ops 2, it was easy. But when you play World of War, it's like... You know, the menu- Have you heard the menu music for World of War? Like, come on, bro. What is it? This shit? Like, yo, you- I, I remember sitting there, right? Xbox 360, headphones on. I was trying to find a lobby in Call of Duty Zombies, and you'd be listening to this in the background. <laughs> please get me in a game, please get me in a game, please get me in a game, please get me in a game. That's what I was like as like 11 year old, 12. I was like, please just get me in a game, I'm getting scared. <laughs> yeah, Bl uh, Call of Duty Black uh, World of War Zombies was, in my opinion, the hardest, because it was very rudimental in design. It was very... Blech. It wasn't there yet, you know? Oh my god, dude. I used to literally browse for modded lobbies all the time. And then guess what happened? I got into a, um... I got into a lobby. This is when I stopped playing World of War, by the way. I got into a modded lobby of zombies. The guy was like, oh yeah, I can give you all of the achievements. And I was like, oh shit, yeah! Dude, including the achievement for hitting max prestige? He's like, yeah, yeah, I can give you it. Motherfucker made my account level zero. I couldn't play anything. Because to access multiplayer, you had to be level one. I'm not even kidding. So the only thing I could play was zombies at that point. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's enough of that. <laughs> uh, time to, you know, can we see Tile's top view, please? Yeah, it's not going to be that interesting. Just, this is just a straight line. You're not really seeing anything interesting here. But yeah, that happened. Um, and it kind of sucked because I was like prestige one level like 50 or some shit. Or like, I don't think it was 50. I think you could only get up to 45. In... Was it 45 or what was it in World of War? 
Or was it 50? It was 55. And then it, it's, all, it's always different in every Call of Duty, right? I can't remember. One of them was 60. One of them was 45. One of them was 55. One of them was 70. It was, it was hard to keep track of. Also, yeah, this is the Gran Turismo music, Vampire. Is this DMCA? It's not right. 70 was, was Modern Warfare 2, yeah. <sighs> What's my favorite zombie map? I swear we talk about this every stream. Um, my favorite zombie map is either Ascension, Moon, or Origins. Or Buried. Basically, any Black Ops 1 zombies map. Goaded. A few Black Ops 2 ones are pretty good. Um, I think Kino's overrated. That's my hot take. And I think 5 is better than people think it is. And Transit is one of the worst maps ever made. Transit nearly killed Call of Duty Zombies. For me, at least. No, I didn't like, um... There was a, like, there was a di divide between... There was a divide between, um... Uh... Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. Zombies. Black Ops 2 was like... Gritty, defined. You have to go on a treasure hunt. But it's not obscenely ridiculous, right? It's like, hard. Black Ops 3 was like, okay, you need like 50 million steps. You know? You need like... You need to suck off this dragon, absorb his cum, put it into a staff, use that staff to suck yourself off, and then that teleports you underneath the map, and then you enter in the railroad code, you know, you spit- Ooh, it spins! And then, you know, you're back playing, like, a little lockpick minigame in Oblivion, and then, you know, you get an achievement. And that's why I didn't like Black Ops 3 Zombies as much. Uh, I always thought it was just, like, too far, if that makes sense. I don't know if it does make sense to me. It was overcomplicated, yeah. World at War was, like, testing ground. Black Ops 1 was discovering... Black Ops Zombies was good PC. I played it when I was 12. Oh my god, the tiles are so fucked here. Right. I think I'm gonna have to tile up to this here and just call it. But that being said, um, I've always respected people's opinions about Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2 and all that shit because I understand that there's people that prefer Black Ops 3's style of, um... Zombies, and I... That's fine, really. I can't imagine it's, like, bad. It's just not my type of stuff. <sighs> oh my god. Does anyone remember playing, uh, zombies and you used to always, like, tell someone to, like... There was always a jump scare in every map, and you'd tell people to, like, get the... Oh! Yeah, dude, just look through the scope right there! And yeah, just right there! Just right there! Right there! And then, like, a jump scare would come up! <laughs> Oh, uh, I used to always do that to my little brothers. <laughs> I'm such a fucking asshole, man. I'd be like, oh, dude, yeah, ju just, there's a secret Easter egg. You got, like, a secret weapon if you look over there. And they'd, like, shit the pants. Ah, uh, good times. Good times. Yeah, you'd always do it whenever there was, like, someone young in, like, the Call of Duty Zombies lobby. <laughs> uh, do I need a speech check to talk him through this? I can't remember if I do. I think I might. I don't have high charisma, too. Advanced Warfare Zombies was the funnest team mode. Don't me, one of the funnest game overall as well. <sighs> no, I hated Advanced Warfare is what made me stop playing COD. And Ghost brought me back. And then the one out that came out after Ghost. What was the one that came out after Ghost? Can't remember which one it was. It was Advanced Warfare, Ghost, then some crazy shit. I like Ghost. I thought Ghost had really fun multiplayer. It was Advanced Warfare after Ghost. Okay, well then, Advanced Warfare ruined it for me. Oh, was it the World War II? I can't remember, man. Who cares? Alright, that's two charisma. What's my current stat? Eight. Oh, I do have high charisma. Never mind. I have ten now. I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. Hmm. Why didn't you tell me? We're, we're boyfriends, man. We kissed each other. Why didn't you tell me, Dance? Because I didn't know. Until <gasps> Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. 
If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? No. But I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that this must be difficult for you. Yeah, I did play I the Metal Runner games. I don't, I don't play any of the modern ones, though. So. Only the PS2, Xbox sin, type which ones. Means I need to be destroyed. Like the ones if on GameCube. You your orders, you're not only betraying don't think I played Maxon, that one. You're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Since can't be. Anybody else's friend group called Black Ops Blops for short? <laughs> no. You're going to tell me next that they call Modern Warfare 2 MW2? No, what? Yes, we did. Trust it. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. I just like that you thought that it was like... Technology that's run amok. It's like nobody did. <laughs> the entire world to its knees. Sorry, I'm just fucking with you. The brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. Should I tell him he's machine or human? The empathy that you're he's showing human, me... He's human, right? He's human. It's a human emotion. Yeah. I appreciate what you're trying to do. But I've made my decision. Give I'm him a kiss. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me. And I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. No. I won't do it, Dance. I can't believe you'd risk your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? You're the proof that Maxon's wrong. You're a synth, but everything you've done has been for the good of mankind. You're right. How could I have been so blind? I'm not technology that's gone out of control. I've been a benefit to mankind, not its downfall. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, I can consider my next move. I feel like if it's that easy to convince you, you probably weren't that, like, set on, you know? He's like, oh shit, maybe you're right, actually. Maybe I should die. Whatever you decide to do, I've got your back. Thank you, my friend. The only clear choice is for me to leave the Commonwealth. The All right, piss off home. then. All right, I don't want anything to do with you. Thanks to the, thanks to the holotags, bitch. But, I mean, he wouldn't know. I mean, you wouldn't know. Jabba... We can hear the X speeding. <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't shoot him. Look, I stuck to the confinements of the pole. I didn't fuck you guys over. He's alive. You just have to trust me. Okay? You just have to trust that he's alive. All right, back to Paladin. <laughs> Fast travel is currently unavailable from this location. Oh, sorry. My bad. Let me get out. Did I tile this? Is that a tile? That is a tile. Yeah, yeah. How dare you betray Ooh. the brother? It's not his fault. It's mine. What the fuck? I'll Wait. Deal with you in a moment. I've never done. Is I've never actually done this before. I I literally kill him on sight every time. This this thing. He's not a thing. He's one of your best men. Have you taken leave of your senses? Dance isn't a man. It's a machine. An automaton ah, created shit. by the institute. It wasn't born from the I did step off. I'll give this up. It was grown within the cold confines of a laboratory. Flesh is flesh. Machine is machine. The two were never meant to intertwine. By attempting to play God, the Institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond measure. After all I've done. If, if Elder Maxon and like, you know, his grandma had like a heart problem and they were like, oh, we want to put a heart pacer in to like, you know, monitor her heart and keep it in check. And then he starts going about flesh. It's flesh! Machine! It's machine! You'd probably think he was nuts, right? All the blood I've spilled in our name. How can you say that about You're the physical embodiment of what we hate most. It's so close. Technology that's gone too far. Yep. Look around you, Dan. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that litter the wasteland. Millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. True! Liberty Prime's a robot. Can't you see Ingram the same is. thing is happening again? 
You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. It's the Red Scare. Dance wants to save mankind, not destroy it. You're as delusional as you are insubordinate. How can you trust the word of a machine that thinks it's alive? A machine that's had its Ben Shapiro. Rest, its <laughs> thoughts programmed, its very soul manufactured. Those oh my ethics, God! Look at my forehead. Champion on even its own. They were artificially inserted in an attempt to have it blend into society. It's true. I was built within the confines of a laboratory. And some of my memories aren't my own. Solution. The Brotherhood of Steel in New Vegas have been shown to use explosive coll collars. They know that technology exists. Put an explosive collar on him, and if he fucks up or goes out of line, blow it up. But when I saw my brothers dying at my feet, I felt sorrow. When I defeated an enemy of the Brotherhood, I felt pride. And when I heard your speech about saving the Commonwealth, I felt hope. Don't you understand? I thought I was human. You never knew synth dance was a synth? I was taken in by the Brotherhood. I've done absolutely Wait, dance is a synth? Your trust, and I never will. What? It's too late for that now. The Institute Since has foolishly chosen to grant you life. You simply should not exist. I don't intend to debate this any longer. Dude, can My you stop eating the camera? Stand. It's all right. We did our best. You convinced me that I was wrong to be ashamed of my true identity. He looks so I happy. Thank you for it. Oh, he's so happy. Whatever you decide, know that I'm going to my grave with no anger and no regrets. Touching. Either you execute Dance or I will, Knight. Are you fidgeting? What's up? Is yours. Why is he doing this? After all the sacrifices I've made and all the battles I've fought for the Brotherhood, yeah. you need to listen to me. Yeah. You owe me that much. Very yeah. well. I'm listening. <laughs> Whether he's human or not, Dan saved the lives of countless Brotherhood soldiers. This is true. Now it's time you saved his. Dance was merely following the rules set up in its program. No. To mimic a Brotherhood soldier. No. A real soldier's bravery I failed. comes from within. From his heart and his soul. Just listen to me. If I've earned... No, Any please. Trust or respect while I've served with the Brotherhood? Then I'd gladly trade it to keep Dance alive. You value this machine's life that much. So, it appears we've arrived at an end. Allowing Dance to live undermines everything the Brotherhood stands for. Yet you insist that he remains alive, which leads to the previous It's a celebration. This day forward, right, well, he's live. you are forbidden to set foot on the Pridwin. What? Or speak to anyone from the Brotherhood of Steel. Should you choose to ignore me. <laughs> Why is he no, extraditing him? You'll be fired <laughs> immediately. Do we understand each other? I do. Thank you for believing in me, Arthur. Don't mistake my mercy for acceptance. I think Arthur's the stuck. The only reason you're still alive. <laughs> Oh, exile, not extradite. I'm returning to the Pridwin Knight. Take some time. Say you. We still have the Institute to deal with. Yes, sir. All right, you. Hi. It took a hell of a lot of <laughs> to stand up to Max. Right, I'm gifting my sub. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry, bro. One sec. I gotta spin. At least we know he isn't chasing you anymore. That's an excellent. I didn't. <laughs> Goodbye, Dance. Farewell. Mm hmm. And there he goes. Paladin dance. Can I kill him? Jopper, did you know there was a dialogue for this where you killed Elder Manson and you took over the Brotherhood of Steel? No. Is there? I mean, I could try it. Is that a thing? I don't think it is. It's cut content. Yeah, I was about to say, I do not think that's a thing. Uh, I'm surprised they cut that out, because that's a pretty cool ending. Recover the flux sensor at South Boston Military Checkpoint. What? Let's go this way. Uh, Chad, I'm going to have to be honest with you. I need a shit. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to play on my Steam Deck while I poop. But I can't bring the mic with me. God damn it. 
Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give the mic to Jasmine. <laughs> and she's gonna talk to Chad. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Jasmine to commentate the playthrough on the delay that the Xbox has while I poop. I'm gonna play it. <laughs> this, this is so over convoluted. I'm gonna go take a shit and play on my Steam Deck. She's gonna commentate the run from the like 30 second delay that the Xbox has. Does that make sense? All right. I'll be back in a small boys. I gotta go, uh,. Okay, I think it was a fart, but I'm gonna go just make sure it's not. Okay. One sec, I'm gonna go ask Jasmine if she wants to do it. Hey, Jasmine, are you working? Can you commentate my run while I poop? Can you not just keep them at the tent? I'm busy. I'm working. Why? Because I have a job. Fucking loser. A fucking loser, dude. Honest to God, man. Some people. Alright. I'm just gonna go poop, whatever. Reporting is ordered, Elder. Before we continue, I want to make one thing clear. This conversation will be the last time we... As far as the Brotherhood of Steel is concerned, he's dead. Right. Do you understand? Of course. The Brotherhood must come first. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. Of course. Dance's execution creates a missing link in our chain of command. That traitor held quite an important position with us. I'm certain that you'll make a fine replacement. His quarters and all his possessions are now yours, including his personal suit of power armor. Congratulations, Paladin. I won't disappoint you, Elder. Had I even a single doubt in my mind, I wouldn't have awarded you the promotion. Just be aware that a Brotherhood Paladin is expected to be a symbol of integrity to our brothers and sisters. I trust you won't disappoint them, or disappoint me, in any event. We still have the Institute to contend with, and a lot of work to do before we can begin our final assault. While the finishing touches are being put onto Liberty Prime, Captain Kells has identified a potential threat to our operations. Report to him immediately for your next assignment. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Station keeping maintained. Thrusters stable. Pinging remote units at 30 second intervals as requested. Wait, what are you guys talking about? I f I washed my hands. I wiped. Why do you think I was talk Why do you think I was listening to his dialogue for so long? Do you think I actually give a shit about his dialogue? Hey, look, Chad, I'm playing on my little... <laughs> wow, dude, this control is so ergonomic! Uh-huh. I'm ready, Captain. Good. Now, sure. our, if we hit them before they hit us... Uh -huh. Destroy them. Uh-huh. Consider it done. Thank you. Oh, wait! There was a, there was a prediction? Poop done by 44 hours. Complete. 
our sources you got to be shitting me <laughs> oh i could not like come back at like 43 56 when you are they open Rigged, he didn't wash his hands. I did wash my hands. I'm not a fucking child, man. I gotta wash my hands. I'm so disappointed that uh, Jasmine. I'm gonna call her out right now. I'm, I'm disappointed that Jasmine didn't want to commentate and talk to my chat. I think she can hear that. She's currently got. She's working in the other room, listening to music with my stream on in the background. I just wanted to know. <laughs> I don't blame her true the stream deck is poopy now what do you mean it's poopy well chat okay i'm gonna explain to you what i did okay here i'm gonna show you guys okay uh this is the toilet this is the toilet here this is the toilet okay i get in i sit down i'm playing fallout 4 Pooping at the same time, right? I can I can multitask. I can shit and play games at the same time. I'm just squeezing one out. Oh, what's that? Dialogue comes up. I'm done shitting. I put the controller on the floor. Like so. I then proceed to grab the toilet roll, wipe, not my vagina, obviously, you, you know, behind, wipe my ass, whatever, wash my hands, and then pick up the Steam Deck. Fuck me. It's like you guys think I'm, like, incapable of looking after myself. I'm 26 years old, Chad. <laughs> that being said, most 26-year-olds don't know how to look after themselves, but... Whatever. What do I have to do now? Enter all- Ooh, it's time to get rid of the fucking railroad! That's what somebody would say that didn't wipe. You think I'd be putting my hands near my fucking face? You're younger than me? Why are people so surprised I'm 26? Do I look that old? <laughs> Fuck me! You know, one day I, w I wish we lived in a society where we don't have to wipe. <laughs> mm. At least 30? Ah, shit. I didn't tile out this. Let me give the sub. Chat, I'm 26. Okay, I was born in 1997. Fuck me, you guys are so mean. Holy shit. Yo. Congrats on the gifted soup. Okay, we are playing it very hard, so I need to be careful and make sure I don't die. I do not have good armor, so. This entire playthrough, I've not had good armor. It's like the one thing I've not had. Oh no! Railroad armored coat? Yeah, that's what I want, right? Isn't that like really good? No, it's not. It's actually really bad. There's so many 97 babies in chat. Yeah, I, I, I feel like most people who watch my content are probably around the same age as me. There's just this like new... You know... I, my, my opinion is I don't even think most people in this chat are young. I just feel like there's that one to two really just... Yeah, annoying kids. I'd say the average person in this chat is between 20 to 30 years old. Maybe some people over the age of 30. We like our elders here. We love them. We love the, and respect the elderly in our chat. Anybody under the age of uh, 20, we do not care about you. Did I just kill a, a Burrow to Steel guy? I think I just did. I did. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> elders, yeah. Dude, they're like the village elder. I mean, technically, you probably would have been a village and elder at like 35, 40, right? We always talk about like el village elders being like 100 years old. Those motherfuckers died at 30. Are you kidding me? A village elder would have been like my age. I would have been like, oh, elderly one, tell us about your wisdoms. Uh, don't invest in the crypto market. No, they didn't. Yeah, they, 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 there was actually village elders. It was when we, we moved into like densely populated societies that people started dying. Yeah. I know I'm not stupid. Threat neutralized. Yeah, I, I, I know chat. I'm not, I'm just messing. Okay. We've got trouble. Also depends on where you go and 
what type of people you're talking about. Oh, this one's Mark free. Oh, this one's good. Oh, should we switch to this? Nah. Jabbo, want to have smelly Shreks? I don't know what that is. Can I help you, buddy? Oh, I've been waiting for the day where I do this. Is that a choo choo train I hear? Sorry. No, Drummer Boy! They killed Drummer Boy! Yeah, Ballistic Fiber is, um... By the way, if you ever do a survival playthrough, you have to get Ballistic Fiber. Uh, if you don't know what Ballistic Fiber is, it's a... Um... It's an armor upgrade you can get from normal clothing, usually under underlining clothing and stuff like that. Uh, but the thing that makes it so good is you can wear it underneath your armor. Uh, and it adds like 60, 80 damage resistance, and you can put it on your helmet too. So you can put... You can put... Ballistic weave on your body, your helmet, which is like 120 to whatever protection, plus, yeah. Nah, don't wear power armor. Power armor's for pussies. Official Bethesda underscore. I don't think you're legit. I'm pretty sure the official Bethesda account is just Bethesda, right? Thanks for the uh, the six euros. Am I respected when I pay? Um, genuine opinion. I have less opinion. I have less respect for you if you donate money to me. And that is the truth. Gift subs. Oh. Respect for the wazoo. Give me money directly? Bro, please, come on, man. Do something respectful with your money. What do you want? What? Should I talk to chat? What do you want? Hi, T? Yes, please. Thank you. I'll make you tea later because we are a sharing couple that aren't sexist in any way. I don't know. You can leave that one. Thanks. Uh, you know, th things are moving so fast, you know? I, I, I don't... <laughs> My game's crashed. I can't carry a chair. <laughs> What are you doing, Step Pam? Get off the table! What are you doing? <laughs> okay, fuck off. Let me leave. All right, uh, we gotta get back to <laughs> report to Lance Captain Kells. All right, we're getting back. I think this is where we get to the end of the game now, which is a good point to probably end the stream on soon, because I think we want to finish it tomorrow. I could finish it tonight, but we might be rushing a bit. Uh. Because if I do it tomorrow, if I do, do the finish tomorrow, here's what we could do. We could also do the little pirate quest. Work. Yeah. We'll Which would add some extra content if you guys are interested. Oh, I could finish it right now. And I don't think I want to finish it right now. You still gotta do mass fusions in, in, in an institute? Yeah, but those, like, don't take that much long. Yo, official Bethesda underscore who is not official Bethesda. Thank you for the 12 viewers. Jabbo, I feel like out of the community, my mom is the village elder since she watches your videos. Um. I'm happy for you. <laughs> your mother. <laughs> I don't know why the both of you watch this stuff. I, 
I can't imagine this is like a family activity. Uh, how does pirate work with tiles? Wouldn't you have to tile the deck of the boat? Yes. Which is why I think it'd be fun, right? Dude, fuck off a nook! Go away! God! <sighs> I'm, I'm looking for his recent covers. I, I, I wonder if... I miss you cooking crispy pork. What is this? Even though it's been so long, my love for you keep going strong. He's got a Louis Vuitton bag. Not the Pamacy. I swear I'm not addicted to this guy. Is he just cooking pork? What is- what is- Is he adding... Cuffs? What? Is that like codeine or some shit? Oh, it's MSG, okay. What, what is the point of this, Anuk? Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I like that he did this. Alright, we have to go do some more... Um... For the tree <laughs> There's darkness and so on to the night For the tree Dude, they need to get him for the next Metal Gear Solid For the remake Aren't they doing like a remake of the third one? Get him in! Oh, he's so beautiful Okay, I'm not even kidding If Anak did like a uh, If Anak did like a if he did like a show or just like a gig in the UK in like a shitty little pub somewhere, I would genuinely go. I'm not even kidding. I would turn up and I would pay VIP and I'd get pictures with him. I, I swear to God, I'd do the whole nine yards. But because of his filters, I don't think he ever will. Where's he from? I can't remember. I think it was like something like the, he was like Italian descent in the Philippines or something like that. I can't remember what it was. Excuse me, Captain Kells. Well, you. Sorry, Anik. To our future we gotta, we gotta listen to the story. Those sympathizers deserved exactly what they got. That they did. I'm also dismayed that you were unable to recover Pam for the Brotherhood. It was an amazing. Uh -huh. Speaking. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. At I wonder if Starfield has mines. Haven't seen anything on it yet. I cannot say. One way or the other, whether or not Starfield has mines. Wasn't there? Was there a mine in the gameplay trailer? I can't, like I don't know if this is like a fake out. If you're saying like, oh, there was a mine in the gameplay trailer, so I say, well, is there? Because I didn't see any. <laughs> Regret. When do we get rid of that subalert? It would be helpful if you tagged along. I knew. Kels has Using my sub message to say check Discord. So what's the news? I um I think I'm gonna get a a steak bake from Greg's for lunch. Oh my god! Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my yeah. Um, there's a, uh, there's a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Bacon. I'll, uh, I'll get back to you tonight about that. Welcome aboard, brother. Do you guys know Juve did, uh, 
Lord Strong something. Can I can I show this? He he linked it to me and Mickey. I believe. Um And he made an old video on Starfield. I w I want to see if it was, if it's if I can show it or not. Let me let me get it. Okay, that's not it. This is it, yeah. <laughs> it's not unlisted. It's not unlisted. But this was before his channel blew up. It was in October of last year. Look. More light on Starfield in a very brief overview video titled Starfield The Settled Systems. In this video, they went over- Do you know, isn't that mad to- do, isn't that mad to think about? This is like one thing for all the people out there that do YouTube. Or want to do YouTube. Look at this shit. Like, look. 21k views, right? 18k views. This guy's channel was not doing well. Like, it, I mean, these are good views, but most of this is probably because backlog of content, right? People are watching his content now, have nothing else to watch, so they watch the old shit. And then look at his channel, like 6k views, 18k views, 21k views. Then like look at his channel now. Like 200k, 300k, 200k, 400k, 400k, 600k, you know what I mean? This is proof that just because it doesn't work out doesn't mean you should stop. Just saying. Just saying. You literally have fundamental proof right there. It's the same for my channel too. Exactly the same. All right, you know what we will do? We will do... This is my deal to you guys. I'll do mass fusion. I'll... I own another sub because I went down the stairs. I'm gonna do mass fusion today. And then... Tomorrow, we finish the game. We do USS Constitution, and then finish the game. Sorry, I nearly stepped off. There should be enough tiles to get me to the end of the game. Up, Not to the end of the, to the end of Mass Fusion. <laughs> Boarding the Vertibird to Mass Fusion will make you a permanent enemy of the Institute! Are you sure you wish to proceed? Yes. Here we go, boys. What a trill. <laughs> wait, wait, play this again. We have clearance for release. You might want to hang on, sir. Rob, Here it is, chat. The moment. In Fallout 4 gameplay. Brother Tree. <laughs> the drop! There's the place and so I want to the know. What a tree. tree. I'm getting rid of everything. Fuck you guys. I'm ah, not the gameplay! On the metal into you. World of fear in my heart. <laughs> Birth your source of dream I give my life not for honor but for you What a what a champion in my time there'll be no one Okay, I do need to, I need to get- Okay, 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 I need to actually play the game now, because there's a good chance that I might just die here. Let me get everything back on. Everyone shut up. That should be everything, right? Okay. No more music. <laughs> I want to do... I'll play the music, though. Crow is the way I fly to you. I'm trying to get the tile down. Please. Someday you grow Fuck you. To the rain. Fuck you. And someday you All right. He's being really loud. I got to kind of hit it. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Let's go!
trying to tile it so I don't like. No. Oh, let's go! It what? It worked! Let's fucking go! Holy shit! Okay, we should have enough tiles to get through this. This is gonna be crude, but this is has to be crude. Oh, see, this is why we don't tile inside. You see this? Do you hear him going off at the end there? What the fuck? He went crazy. <laughs> Fucking good job, Anik, man. What a chief, huh? He went a bit nuts at the end. Okay, I can't put a tile down inside of that because I don't think it's going to function properly. I could jump off the edge. I'll tile my way down. Or I could just do mass fusion legit. Because it's an interior cell. Interior crocodile alligator, you know? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh my god. Wow, what a shot. Yeah, I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Remember when that was a ye old classic meme back in the day? Come on, let's get me. I need to grab this. Just need to grab one more. Key card, eh? <sighs> All right, That's do I have to go over there? Yeah, I can only use tiles. <laughs> Why are people only getting this now? Why do you think I was putting tiles down? You think I was just fucking around? We're gonna get a bit loose with the tiles, but I kind of have to, so. This isn't an interior cell, by the way. This is an exterior cell. We're still on top of the roof. Alright, the beryllium agitator is inside of the agitator's fucking power reactor thing. So let's go down. Woo! Alright, can we get in? Ready? Let's go. Going down. Okay. This is a tile. Like, this is the same as Vault 111. I'm allowed to stand on it because, you know, if I put a tile down and then stood on it, I wouldn't be able to actually go down because the physical object would not go down. So we're good. Now let's pop some Psycho, Medex, and then we might be fine for this Fucking bit coming. Cow! Yo, Spooky Ghost, thank you for the five bumps. I do appreciate it. Mwah. Thank you. You did try, so how did you know? Uh, I have already tried with elevators uh, before I made this video and it didn't work. Trust me. Like, the, the thing about this challenge run is we did a lot of pre-planning for this challenge run for the first video. So, like, there was a lot of, like, defining rules before the video started. So, yeah. And then the second and third one, we kind of just rolled with it. No one else. All right. Hey, boys. Now I'm an interior cell, so I can do whatever the fuck I want, right? Oh, here we go. Here we go, boys. A bit of on the rails fighting. Motherfucker. I'm trying to see where the uh, the bubble head is because I can shoot it off. Can you shoot it off? I, I actually don't know if you can. Oh, you can't probably. Oh, it's down there, isn't it? Yeah. One of the top. I forgot that this this weapon this ve this place has like a top half and a bottom half. Uh, this is just a standard combat rifle with a legendary improvement. It's known as the Overseer's Guardian. It shoots two bullets at once. It's one of the best weapons for an ammo consumption and for damage output. What? Excuse me. Great. Bastards. I completely forgot how to do this area. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Do I just need to win a fight here or? 
Holy shit. We good? Do I just keep going? I have to get the power back on. <laughs> Is this the power? Security's too tight. Uh, oh, Payday Free 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, oh yeah, Payday Free's coming out. Got it. Um, I feel like that's just because Starfield is going to be the bigger game release, unfortunately. Yes. <laughs> like, Starfield's such a big release. You can put it down, thank you. Uh, like, I can't really fault anyone for forgetting that Payday Free's coming out. I think I could tell you guys about the fact that I paid I played Payday Free early. I actually kind of liked it. Oh, yeah, I can tell you guys about that. Yeah, I got to play Payday Free early at the YouTube headquarters event. It was actually pretty fun. It just played like Payday 2 with like slight... It just felt like a little bit better. But the biggest thing was like the graphical change. There was definitely like a more... Like better graphics, you know? Oh, great. Do I plan on streaming it? Uh, I, yeah, I, I think I will actually. I was talking to the, um, to the woman, woman that does like the sponsorship stuff for YouTubers and stuff. And I actually, funny enough, actually, you know what's funny is, um, the lady that was there working with the Payday Free Company, I forgot what they're called. It's, it's not, it's something like Starlink. Um, her name was, uh, her name is Tainted Tally, right? And she's one of the community managers for Peter, for, for Peter, the company, whatever. She commentated. She did the commentary on my ESA run. How nuts is that? Anybody that's been here f since the speedrunning days, you remember the ESA speedrun that I did for Fallout Free 100% ESA speedrun? She did the commentary for that run. And then she was the Starbreeze community manager and we met at that event. How fucking nuts is that? That is like literally one of those small world type things, you know? Yeah, anyway, anyways, she's like really cool and uh, yeah, we're talking about it. We might do a sponsored stream for uh, Payday Free at some point. Because I was going to play it anyways, so. Initiating decontamination. Uh, well, I'm going to end the stream soon, Crank Braden, so you're good. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Uh, hazmat suit. I think two- I, I- I have three versions of... Crab resistance, we should be fine. We're just the- the one Radix. You may proceed. Jabbo are more like Babbo. True. Oh my god, I didn't know the... I completely- well, I didn't know. I forgot that the radiation suit looks like a... Astronaut. All right. Good luck, me. I've got to do all this shit now. Also, I wish I could drop the, the look at the silver shroud stuff. I hate it. <laughs> Chat. I'm not commenting on anything to do with Starfield. I cannot. Sorry. All I can say is that I have played the game. Mm -hmm. Alright. Big fight coming up. <laughs> right, not that really not that big of a fight, not gonna lie. Am I gonna raid someone? Yeah, probably. Yeah, this was in 20 minute man was impossible, dude. But I'm so glad we did it because it was actually really fun. Like, I'm really... 20 Minute Man, I think... I think 20 Minute Man is like the best idea for a video I've done. And I would genuinely say it's one of the best videos I've ever made. If it wasn't for the fact that, unfortunately, the footage used wasn't good quality. Because basically, the editor that worked on the video and myself had trouble with the footage. And we both kind of fucked up the footage system. 
And unfortunately, the video- there was that one thing that was wrong with that video, and it was like, fuck. And to, to most people, they wouldn't have noticed it, but to me, it's like one of those things, it's like, damn, I just worked really hard on the project. And there's just that one issue. Right, I'm gonna have to give to sub when I leave, because there's, uh, there's no tiling here, so. What about 20 minute tile man? What, where I have 20 minutes to get as many tiles as I can, and then try and end the game? That is basically impossible. I do not think that is possible, no matter- You'd have to find, like, 5,000 kills in 20 minutes. Unless you have, like, <laughs> a godlike PC. Excuses? Oh, okay, do you guys want to watch a 50 minute video of me making my way to Museum of Freedom and then dying? Or, or like, not being able to get any further? 20 minutes to get your equipment, then you're forced to only use tiles? Nah, I'm good. I, I don't want to touch tiles ever again after this video. Tiles can fuck off. I'm not doing tiles. <laughs> this is... This is... The start and the end of the tile run in Fallout 4. We ain't doing anything after this. Is there gonna be a st Starfield Tileman? Oh yeah, let me find a way to place tiles across the universe. What a great idea. Oh, what's that? I gotta get to another planet? Let me just put down five bajillion tiles as I walk my way over. Okay, I need to connect my tiles so I can... I feel like it's fair to like have to connect my... Tiles. Before I can like move on. Ow. Would I do 20 Minute Man in Starfield? I feel like I could do 20 Minute Man in Starfield, yes. And there is a plan there for that. Eventually. <sighs> Jabba told us there's space travel called Todd. I didn't say anything. I- 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 Can we talk about- Can we- Can we talk about Nintendo 64 hit game Beetle Adventure Racing, please? Because I feel like I, if I don't, if I don't talk, if I talk about that, I can't do anything. I can't break an NDA by accident. You Fuck have, you guys, man. Rock. You guys ever play that game? You guys, ever, anybody in chat ever play the uh, Beetle Adventure Racing for the N64? What a great game. Like, genuinely, what a fucking amazing game. It was by far one of the best racing games you could buy, and nobody gave it the respect it deserved. What a godlike game. And I, I did a stream of it. I actually remember doing a stream of it. <laughs> did I? I did, didn't I? I did a stream of the game. It was kind of fun. I actually remember enjoying that stream. Yeah. That was a good stream. Alright. Return to Boston Airport. We will do that. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, let's do that tomorrow. It was Christmas Eve. Oh, was that my Christmas Eve stream where I got like insanely fucking drunk and played <laughs> Adventure Racing? Yeah. 